DVDs, concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen in the frustration. Call Math Made Easy. Call now 1 800 USA Math. That's 1 800 872 6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you, too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. What looks good under your Christmas tree and tastes even better? Big Berkey water filters. Did you know that you can listen to LRN.FM 24-7 via our free-to-air satellite channel? From Mexico to Canada, our signal covers nearly all of North America. All you need is a view of the southern sky, an affordable receiver, and a dish as small as 30 inches. There are no monthly fees. Learn more at sat.lrn.fm. Plus, if you're a broadcaster or want to be one, this is a good delivery method for our content. See our coverage map and get details at sat.lrn.fm. That's sat.lrn.fm. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. You can help new minds find liberty. Chip in at lrn.fm. From Kane and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.38 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,200 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $384. Antiwar.com reports long-standing oil and revenue disputes between the Iraqi central government and the Kurdistan regional government have been resolved, according to a new report from the Finance Ministry. The ministry is reporting that the Kurdistan regional government will be providing 550,000 barrels of oil per day to the Iraqi oil ministry. In return, the central government will give the Kurds 17% of the entire national budget. Though the Finance Ministry did not mention it, the Kurdistan regional government is also claiming that under the deal, they're still allowed to sell oil produced above and beyond the amount agreed upon for the exchange. The Kurdistan regional government intends to export 1 million barrels per day by the end of 2015. Previously, Iraq and Kurdistan were disputing the rights of the Kurds to export oil abroad without oil ministry approval, and the central government was refusing to make payments to them related to the dispute. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Ars Technica reports the FBI seized 20 boxes of documents pertaining to a $1.3 billion iPad program from the Los Angeles Unified School District. The program, which was intended to give iPads to every student, teacher, and campus administrator of the nation's second largest school district, has met with many catastrophic difficulties, and this latest federal investigation led the new superintendent of the school system to shelve the project indefinitely. Unsurprisingly, high school students given iPads quickly hack them. The program first hit a bump in the road back in 2013 when a number of students hacked the iPads, which is to say they deleted the profile information that designated the user as a student, thus letting the student browse the internet unencumbered by the filter restrictions enforced by the school. At the same time, many teachers reported that they felt ill-equipped to use and teach with iPads. In October, the superintendent, John D.C., resigned amid allegations of malfeasance, although he declined any wrongdoing. After his resignation, D.C. was replaced by Ramon C. Cortinez, who yesterday officially shelved the program, telling the Los Angeles Times, I think there have been too many innuendos, rumors, etc., and based on my reading of a great deal of material over Thanksgiving, I came to this conclusion. 
For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports U.S. House Speaker John Boehner will try to sell fellow Republicans this week on a government spending bill that avoids a shutdown fight but allows the party to strike back at President Obama's immigration order. Republicans have a lot riding on their handling of must-pass government funding. Having scored huge wins in November 4th voting that handed them a majority in the Senate and gave them a bigger majority in the House, Republican leaders want to demonstrate that they can govern responsibly next year. But many are still outraged that Obama bypassed Congress and is moving ahead unilaterally on immigration, granting what they claim is amnesty to people who came to the United States illegally. House Republicans will meet after a 10-day Thanksgiving break to discuss their response, including a leading option for Boehner that would fund most government agencies through September 2015, with a short-term extension for the Department of Homeland Security. House Republican lawmakers and aides say this would give them a chance to use their stronger House and Senate majorities next year to pass explicit spending restrictions on some DHS agencies to try to stop Obama's immigration overhaul. Senate Republicans are discussing similar proposals for a two-tier spending bill. Congress must pass a funding extension by December 11th to avoid a government shutdown. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. It's The Onion Radio News. All seven deadly sins were committed at a church bake sale. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Avarice, sloth, envy, lust, gluttony, pride, and wrath. All seven of the fabled deadly sins were committed on Sunday at the twice-annual bake sale at St. Mary's of the Immaculate Conception Church. According to St. Mary's treasurer, Beth Ellen Coyle, church-sponsored events are a notorious breeding ground for these treasonous acts against the Lord God. This is supposed to be about the glorification of God, not violating His Word. Do that and you're no better than that cheap strumpet Melissa Wyckoff with those sinful chocolate cookies of hers. The Seven deadly sins were first outlined in the 5th century by Gregory the Great, who himself was, as indicated by his very name, toying dangerously with the sin of pride. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. As you can tell, it's uh, Mark with you. And Chris Cantwell. Because Ian is off in Concord somewhere, testifying or something. Who knows exactly what. Trying to work within the judicial process. Good luck lots to of, him. Lots of wonderful things happening up there in Concord. I Indeed, bet. I'm sure. So, 855-450 free. We will still, however, take your calls about anything that's on your mind. We have, uh, brought, however, brought in quite a bit of uh, news that we want to talk about. And, uh, can't, well, there's apparently, you, you, the guy that got strangled to death over, what, like selling cigarettes, gray market cigarettes or something? The- yeah, so the, there was, uh, the news came out today that this cop would not be indicted uh, in New York City. A grand jury uh, declined to indict a white police officer in the case of Eric Garner, a 43-year-old unarmed black man who died July 17th in a police chuckle. Uh, this story is from USA Today. Uh, the grand jury found no reasonable cause to indict Officer Daniel uh, Pantaleo who was attempting to arrest Garner for allegedly selling untaxed cigarettes. So basically this guy uh, was executed for tax evasion, if you will, on the, on the streets <laughs> of New York City. Um, and it's now the, the big hysteria is, of course, now this comes just as sort of the smoke is dissipating in Missouri from the yeah. St. Louis protests over the whole, like, Michael Brown thing, and there's all this uh, racial tension because it's again, it's a white cop and a black man, and there's a lot of people who like to make issues all about race. Unfortunately, yep. Well, um, I, I I think that there's 
it, there's like something fair to say that, uh, you know, if I had, if I got to choose my color and I had to choose a color, I choose not to, to identify with any uh, particular race, but if I had to choose a color, it probably, and I was going to live in the United States and I had to choose a gender and I had to choose an age. I would probably choose to be young just because everybody wants to be young, Yeah. but I wouldn't choose to be young, male and black because that's a pretty tough combo to sort of get things done in. Um, you know, you're, it, it can be difficult. Now, I'm not saying that that's everything. It's not all about race. It's somewhat about gender. It's how you talk. It's how you the clothes you dress. It's the people you hang out with, and all those other things. But I, you know, do I? I I can see where the tension comes from. I can I can see your argument about saying, hey, you know, if I had to choose my, you know, color and gender and stuff like that, then hey, being a being a white male is probably. Uh you know, one of the one of the preferable. I think that's things. the uh, yeah. That's the privilege thing they're talking about. Okay. All right. I'll 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 take that. Uh, but I would also say that police using force against people who are disobeying them is not a racial issue, right? This this is a situation where we're talking about police it depends wanted on to— why they're giving orders, right? I'm like, if they're giving orders for sort of what I would consider legitimate reasons, then that's fine. If they're, uh, But if they're not, then it's not fine. Well, right. And and I mean, in any case, uh, most of the people who I hear screaming about race, inc including President Obama at this point, are not ones who have any problem with, uh, you know, the, the state using violence against people who disobey. So, I mean, indeed, indeed. It, you know, selling cigarettes, selling loose, untaxed cigarettes on the streets of New York is illegal. It's against the law. So if you think that people should have to obey the law, then let's just not be surprised when police use force against people who uh, disobey the law. I don't. I don't think that those uh, authorities should. I don't think that those authorities have any legitimate authority. I don't believe that those laws have any legitimacy. So I, you know, oppose any use of force to bring people down who who disobey them. But of course, you know, I'm pretty sure that Barack Obama has no problem with with uh, government agents using violence against people who disobey tax laws. But and, he probably doesn't like the idea that somebody got killed over Lucy cigarettes, right? Um, Lucy, I guess, is the term that they use for selling, you know, onesies and twosies of cigarettes. Right? Yeah, Lucy's would be the uh, the, the the the. What the do term. they sell them for? I don't even know. I mean, in New York, they're probably, probably you know, a, buck a, bu a buck or better at this point because I mean, you'll pay fifteen dollars for a pack of smokes in, in Manhattan for a at pack? this point. Yeah, easily. Wow. You got a you got a good you know pack of Newports or something like that. Fourteen, fifteen dollars, I believe, in Manhattan anyway. Wow. Yeah. Does anybody buy cigarettes in Manhattan? Oh yeah, they they or the tobacco companies will always make money. It does not matter what you do to them. They'll you know people want their drugs. But can't you you can just order cartons on the internet and get them significantly che more cheaply? I well, mean, certainly you, there are people who go through all types of effort in order to avoid paying cigarette taxes in New York. I mean, there's a huge black market for tobacco. Well, when I was smoking cigars, I mean, at the very least, I could go online and I could price out the Have a Tampa Wooden Tip cigars that I smoked and uh, choose to get them, um, you know, places that would price them more cheaply. Now, in that particular instance, since the there really was no taxation at the time on uh, Have a Tampa cigars, I found that it was just the, the least costly option was the store around the corner. Um, you know, I'd find the places in town that would sell them and I'd buy a you know, box or whatever, and and try to find them as cheaply as I could because I didn't figure I would stop smoking in the course of the, the next few weeks or the next couple of months. So I would stock up. Yeah, and when I was when I was smoking cigarettes in New York, I used to go to the Indian Reservation myself, right? And you know, eventually the Indian Reservation kept on raising the prices every time the state raises the taxes. And then I sure. just said I came here to avoid the tax, not to pay it to a different authority. And I switched to the electronic cigarette eventually. But, uh, you know, went through a lot of you know effort to try to avoid paying cigarette taxes. And of course, it seems like that's what happened here—that this guy was selling untaxed cigarettes on the streets of New York because you know what? People want them, right? <laughs> sure, nothing it's, wrong with it. Yeah. Yeah, so he's doing exactly, uh, you know, what uh, the market demands, which is giving people a product that they want at a, at a low price. 
and uh, you know some some uh, guys with badges decided that they didn't think that was such a hot idea, and they tried to take him into custody. And when they tried to take him into custody, I mean, the guy was non-cooperative, right? He's he's not. I did not see that he was you know actively resisting arrest, but he was certainly not complicit in his own kidnapping. So when these guys tried to take him down, they did. They grabbed him by the neck and started trying to pull him down. What are we talking about here, as far as uh, what level of? I, I don't. I hesitate to use the term resistance because that sounds like a legal term. Right. And I'm not a lawyer and don't care to be one. I've uh, told enough lies in my life. I don't need to get uh, paid mm-hmm. for it. But um, I, you know, so are we talking about just sort of? Was sort of was stiff and wishing to sort of move along his way. Was he pushing people? Um, who he was were getting he was not, on him off of him. He was not fighting back, right? Was he punching? But no, he was not fighting back at all. Okay. So, but he was not compliant. He's just telling the police officers, "Hey, leave me alone." And then, and then they started to try to you know take him down. But he's a pretty big guy, right? So the one cop gets him uh, gets him in a chokehold or or what they're they're describing as something else after. The, you know, it's it's because it's it, the NYPD. Submission the hold. manual says that you're not supposed to be doing chokeholds, right? Yeah. So they, the police union now calls it something else that that he did. But in any case, he put compression on the guy's neck and caused his death. The the coroner ruled it as a homicide, and then and the nature of it was compression to the neck, and that's what killed him. You know, and everybody knows it. And so it is kind of bizarre in my book that a, a grand jury decided not to indict this guy because. It's it it is an absolute thing of so hey have- I put my hands on your neck and you died that's generally considered and they gave uh, the the grand jury a bunch of options like they didn't even have to prosecute him for murder um, they they could have done anything all the way down to like reckless endangerment mm-hmm. and the grand jury just opted not to indict the guy and and. I understand why people are really angry about that because I say, you know, unlike unlike the Michael Brown case, you know, I was really I I got really annoyed by the whole Michael Brown thing because Michael Brown was a strong arm robber. He was caught on video and his, uh, you know, accomplice had corroborated that that, you know, that they were bad, violent, bad guys who the police were trying Seems to stop. Seems like that was what was going on. Yeah. In the, in the case of um, Eric Garner in New York City, Eric Garner is just a guy who's literally just selling cigarettes on the streets of New York City. He's not bothering anybody. He's doing uh, providing a service to his community and the, and the police just jump on him and kill him. Yeah, I, I, I'm. So we have a situation where he was breaking the law in the form of tax evasion. And the officers broke the law or the rules at the very least in the form of uh, chokehold. So it would seem like the person who, you know, if, it would seem like if you used excessive force and a, a hold that was against the rules, that you know, you probably should have at the very least some kind of punishment meted out, out against you. Yeah, and there is there is an internal department investigation going on and now that the the jury has a grand jury has declined to indict him, there's a federal probe being opened up and we'll talk about more of that more when we get back. Mom gives us our own special Christmas ornament every year. This year she gave me one with a picture of me playing soccer. It's my most favorite ornament ever. Each Christmas, moms everywhere create the wonderful tradition of placing special ornaments on the Christmas tree. This year, you can make your tradition even more special with unique, customizable ornaments from personalcreations.com. They have an amazing selection of adorable ornaments to choose from. You can even design the characters to look just like members of your family, including your pets. And you can customize each ornament with any name you'd like to make them truly one of a kind. Radio listeners, you can get a special deal. For a limited time when you order select ornaments on the site, you'll get a second one absolutely free. That's two amazing ornaments for the price of one, and personalization is included. But hurry, because this exclusive offer ends this Friday at midnight. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click on the orange star in the top right corner and enter the secret code 6767. That's personalcreations.com, secret code 6767. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. 
According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. It's Mark. And Cantwell. You can give us a call, talk about whatever's on your mind. We're talking about this situation in New York City where a guy selling loose cigarettes, untaxed loose cigarettes, uh, gets put into a, 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 a illegal or at least against the rules uh, chokehold. Uh, it kills him, and the grand jury apparently d doesn't care. Well, uh, tyranny is nothing new. Uh, in the course of human history. And I recently watched uh, a piece of audio theater that was so incredible. And as a matter of fact, it's hard to even call it audio theater because um, you know it was much more like a, an audio movie. Um, it's got big name actors, uh, Joanne Froggett, Billy Boyd, Skandar Keynes, James Cosmo. He's from Braveheart. He was the older guy with the the, from Braveheart, the one that looked very, <laughs> very Scottish. And it's called In Freedom's Cause, and it's one of the greatest stories of the struggle for freedom in recorded history, the story of William Wallace. It's like Braveheart, well, except historically accurate. The, the children in your life are going to love it. It's, a, it's got a study guide, and uh, it's a real crash course in the struggle for freedom. Infreedomscause.com. And we have a special offer for Free Talk Live listeners for this holiday season. You can use coupon code FTL. That's FTL as in Free Talk Live. And get the family four-pack of CDs. This will get you uh, four CDs, and that's four gifts this Christmas. Um, that you can give out to all the different folks in your life that you think would be a good choice. I think this is uh, really great for young people. But, you know, I loved it, too. 
my son and I and my wife, we all listened to it and, and everybody enjoyed it. So, you know, I, I couldn't say the, the demographic that it's perfect for, but I can tell you that it is family friendly. Infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. It is a it's an incredible work, probably one of the best works of uh, it, you know solely audio works, uh, you know, audio theater works in, well, a decade. Let's it's go like for that. Braveheart, but you can listen to it in the car. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. Awesome. So, yeah, we've been talking about this um, Eric Garner story in New York City, and as, as Mark had mentioned, the grand jury declined to indict uh, the officer— uh, Officer Dan- Daniel Pantaleo in that case. And they had the option of indicting him for things all the way down to reckless endangerment. They didn't have to even charge the guy with murder, but for some reason the grand jury decided not to charge him with anything. And so now there's a great deal of hysteria going on. And there's a certain amount of it I think is justified, right? Like I think it's I think it's really good that people are upset that a cop, you know, executes a guy on the street essentially for tax evasion. But I am a little bit concerned about the attention that's being paid to race here. I am I think that people are obsessed with race in this country. I watched a great video last night uh, by Stefan Molyneux called um, Stopping America's Suicide by Race, where he goes into this whole thing about the Michael Brown case in Ferguson and people trying to make this all about race baiting. And this got me into like a, a war on Twitter with, with different people because a lot of people think that this whole thing in Ferguson was all about race. And now they're trying to make this thing in New York City all about race. And I'm like, well, there's definitely some problems in Ferguson when it comes to race. Um, like, for instance, you know, like 8% of the police, 80% of the population of Ferguson's black, 8% of the police force is black. Um, I, I, does Is there any evidence that the police department in Ferguson is just turning down black officers? Are there, you know, people lining up from the black community who want to be cops? Probably not. If I was in charge, of, if I was the guy who was in charge of the police department in Ferguson and my constituency was 80% black, I would be doing my very level best to find myself some black officers. And there's not that much trouble finding black officers. I mean, because race is a reality in America, whether we like it or not, right? Like, I wish it wasn't. I think it's a, it's a silly thing to argue about. But I can't somehow make the rest of the world see my point on this, that uh, melanin in your skin is really a silly reason for us to all be separated and live in separate places and talk different and to decide who we're going to associate based all on that crap because it's just right. a bunch of crap. And I'm 100% with you on that. Right. But the reality is is that you got to kind of, when you're in a position of authority, you kind of have to look at demographics. Yeah. When I, I run this, this uh, business called Free Talk Live, such that it is. And I look at demographics when I do my hiring of co-hosts and that sort of thing. Right. Now, I, I you know, I, I don't know what race you identify as, but I look at you as a fat white guy. Okay. And, you know, um, the... I've got. I, I probably identify with a lot of our audience. In being <laughs> All you fat white guys out there, props. <laughs> and I don't really get very much as far as ethnicities go, uh, rolling through, uh, sort of, you know, talking to for potential co-hosts. But I do get genders, and I look a little harder at somebody when uh, when they're female. This shouldn't. That extra X chromosome shouldn't make a difference. It really shouldn't. No, but it does I, to me. I think I, I personally think gender is a lot more relevant than race, right? I mean, like I, I, I actually like think that gender roles are kind of a good idea, and uh, you know, and because I just think that you know, genders tend to be better suited to certain purposes, and I wouldn't have a problem with like race roles if I thought that races were better suited to certain purposes. I don't find that to be the case, so I don't you know think race is really an issue, but I. I do think that, especially in entertainment, you know, gender is a, a really relevant thing. Oh, it makes perfectly good sense. Yep. And here on the radio, you can tell a woman's voice fr- from a man's voice pretty Certainly. readily. Yeah. Where some people will say, I can't tell you two apart. And they'll be like, oh, which one are you? Are you Cantwell or are you Mark? Right. And, you know, they just don't know. So, Okay, so the, the story continues on here. Um, uh, Esau Garner, Eric's widow, told the uh, New York Daily News. A woman oh, my named God. Esau? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, Esau, E-S-A-W is how right. it uh, 
is is uh, written here. Oh, my God, are you serious? Uh, Garner's widow told the New York Daily News. I'm very disappointed. You can see in the video that the cop was dead wrong. Family lawyer Jonathan Moore said he was actually astonished based on evidence of the videotape and the medical examiner that this grand jury at this time wouldn't indict for anything. Now, that's uh, really weird to me because New York's a really multi multicultural place. And if this is about race, you'd think that there would be a large mix of people on this grand jury. I don't know the composition of this grand jury, and that's it's a very difficult thing to find out. Grand juries are much more secretive than uh, petite juries. Is that what they're called? Yeah, that's that's true. And however, though, Staten Island is one of the certainly one of the more uh, politically conservative places in New York City to the extent that any such thing exists. Like, uh, Does, do Republicans get elected in Staten Island? Um, Depending on how loosely we define Republican, perhaps from time to time. I guess the Republican Party would be. But a lot of law enforcement personnel live in Staten Island. So people who police other areas in New York City, they they settle down in Staten Island because that's where you go if you're a cop. Cops and firefighters are, me being a volunteer firefighter, um, are a funny lot. You know, they're conservative in many ways, but they love their union. You know, yeah. So it's uh, especially in larger cities, you're much more likely to get the uh, the the more Democrat uh, police and firefighters. So it's really difficult to say when it comes to them. Eight fifty five four fifty free. I'd love to have your opinion on this uh, the subject with uh, Eric Garner in New York. Did you think that they were going to get a uh, uh, a guilty or an indictment? Do you? Uh, do you expect any problems over it? 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live or LRN.FM on Skype. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now. Because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-881-1075. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-881-1075. That's 1-800-881-1075. Call 1-800-881-1075. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. 
So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. We're talking about this uh, no indictment in the NYC chokehold death. But there are federal, there is a federal investigation. And I find that uh, all very interesting. Yeah, uh, and they had said a similar thing about Ferguson, too, that there, there, was, a, there was a federal probe ongoing um, civil rights action or something to that effect and this is the, the, i think that's the same exact thing that they were threatening to use against uh in the the trayvon martin case again it's always the backup you know as right. uh, in these these cert certain circumstances um if you've got bitcoin and you need a car newageautosales.com is the place to go they've got used cars that have been cared for from their rental fleet and since new age auto sales is selling their own well-maintained cars the auction fees and transport costs aren't getting passed on to you. Their cars are in great condition, and they're priced to move. They can ship them anywhere in the world. Go! I, I went there to NewAgeAutoSales.com, and I was looking at the prices on the, the cars they have available. It's not like they've got hundreds and hundreds of cars there, but the ones that they have are the sort of cars that people want. Um, these are you know popular sorts of cars that don't have too many miles on them and that just the just the sort of thing that I'd be interested in if I was going to get a car. At NewAgeAutoSales.com, they will ship them to you anywhere in the world. They want to be the Bitcoin auto dealer. But um, obviously, if you see something you like and you don't have enough Bitcoin, then they can help you with that too. But with Bitcoin, your money never needs to be exchanged into dollars. It's NewAgeAutoSales.com for late model, well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. Head on over to their website or give them a call and buy a car from the first Bitcoin auto dealership. It's New Age autosales.com so the story uh, continues in usa today it says the civil uh the civil rights advocacy group ferguson action team fat issued a statement <laughs> encouraging protest it said quote we must all take to the streets and stand in solidarity with new yorkers who gather in eric's memory the group said in a statement eric's case illustrates the way police operate with impunity in black communities as they cast an ever-widening net of criminalization in this case he was harassed by police officers who suspected him of selling untaxed loose cigarettes for that he lost his life i Again, this drives me crazy because it's not as if police are sh shy about using force against white people when they disobey them, right? I mean, I don't see where the, where was the uh, where were the riots after Kelly Thomas got his uh, got his life ended by police and for doing nothing, you know? Well, Kelly Thomas had the disadvantage of being mentally ill, and no one stands up for the mentally ill. I, I, you know. I don't know what goes on, but I, I know that there's sort of built-in biases for people. And one of the biases is in this country, and it's not without cause, is that black men are criminals, right? Like, they're right. statistically significantly more likely to be charged with a crime. And if, if that means that they're committing more crimes, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I, don't, I don't even like the division, black males, right? <laughs> um, but... It's it's a division that's made, and it's very real in people's minds. So I I think that there's biases built in in that circumstance, and I think that the police are not immune from those biases. 
I think that you know people people experience them every day. When you see when when people see say a group of young black men gathered on the side of the street, they're much more likely to cross the street right. than if they say, oh, I don't know, a group of older white women. Uh, older white women, yeah, but I mean, I could imagine people getting uh, shook up about some, uh, depending on how these gentlemen appeared, some uh, some young white men. Yeah, you know, the dress. Standing on a street corner could certainly uh, scare some people into walking across the street. I've seen some scary-looking white guys in my day. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I, I think dress, garb, uh, gender, color, all these things uh, go into it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is this is a thing that they're trying to make it about. Well, oh, this is just the, the white cop just killed a black guy because they act with impunity in black communities. And I'm like, sorry, pal. You know, if I was selling untaxed cigarettes in New York City and it came to the attention of law enforcement, law enforcement would absolutely use violence to stop me from doing that. And if I had, you know, some kind of health condition and was resisting arrest and they put their, uh, you know, hands around my neck. You know, they could just as easily choke me to death and I'll kill me, and he'd probably never even get indicted for it, right? The reason they even tried to bring it before a grand jury was probably only because of the racial tensions I don't know to begin about with. And it's not as if the, the grand jury just let him go because he was white killing a black guy. I, I would I would suspect that. I would hope that's not the reason. Let's go to Glenn calling in from Philly. Glenn, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mr. Cantuel. How are you? Good to be with you. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. No, it can't do well, right? The, um, the, ha, ha, ha. Um, yes, the, <laughs> the, the Ferguson Action Team <laughs> is being joined by the Diversification Universally movement. So the fact and Dom are going to be working together. Uh, um, since we're doing demo, since we're doing demographics, I'm a 23-year-old, physically fit, female, Jewish mestizo. Excellent. Um, and um, I was uh, kind of wondering a couple things. Oh, if you're clubbing in New York, um, you've got to make sure your cigarettes are in the, in the pack when you go in because it's still the policy that, no, Lucy, you cannot go to the club. <laughs> um, Thanks for the call, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. He tried real hard. It's a, I thought that one wasn't bad. And, you know, I'll take a Lucille Ball joke. <laughs> you know. Anyway, let's go to Mark in New York. Mark, you're on Free Talk Live. No jokes. Yeah, I, um, I'm just <laughs> curious. I, have, I I did make a call to another show on this GCN, so I hope I'm not uh, aggravating anybody. I I the New York State. It's something that irritates me. The, the tax per, on the cigarettes is is astronomical. Some, yeah, probably it's the highest. crazy. If they would just, I made this argument with another host, and I'll forgive me. I, I just um, in case other listeners have heard my voice. If they would just literally drop the tax by half. Uh, they could still, if they enforce the 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 uh, tax stamp law on the cigarettes when they come from out of state, they would still gain four hundred million dollars a year. I put this blame squarely on Cuomo and every other administration that has refused to just. I mean, look, we all know. How do you how did you do the ca calculation? Did you do the current well, cigarette I was, sales? Well, I've been reading a lot of columns by John Crudell, who wrote a business column for the New York Post. Okay, and he's followed this long before Eric Garner was was killed. So he said that you know, he, his point was the Indian reservations get untaxed cigarettes. Yeah, and other hosts had corrected me and said that's a whole different ballgame. They don't have to, but you can go in as a, a non-resident of the of the reservation, and you can drive in and buy untaxed cigarettes and come out with them. But if you do that, it's like going to another state to buy. Uh, firearm ammunition. If the right. state police just happen to pull you over, which they do, they'll sit outside the reservations and they know just by look who see who's going in. Well, you know, oh, I'm sure. Uh, you're not a, so they can. The point is, the, the, the John Crudell, his and I read his column for years. He said uh, upwards of 800 million to a billion dollars a year. New York State, so-called quote unquote, loses an untaxed cigarettes. So they are they created the problem. If people are going to smoke. They want to smoke. I don't care what you do. I mean, you know. Libertarian, as long as you don't affect me. So if he's standing outside selling Lucy's for you know seventy five cents each, I'm sure he's, he's losing money. Business away from the <laughs> business owner. But if they just lowered the tax, this man would not have died. And we yep. all know that smokers, by the actuarial tables, they're not going to live long enough to collect Social Security and Medicare benefits. And even if their their end of life care is 
is relatively expensive. It's nowhere near touches the matter the number of, of money that that the, the government stands to gain from them dropping debt early. Well, so I got That's is, the one part that I guess I kind of have a problem with on this, Mark. Is is that sure. who is the the city of New York to be taking any money out of oh, the I sale agree. of a pack of cigarettes? Um, now right. I get where you're coming from. We're, you're talking about reality, and I think that you've got a pretty good grasp of reality. I'm not going to argue with you on that one, but yeah, the um, I, I, I think that all of that's that that's true. I think the the one part that really that really shines through in what you've said here is is that this is the problem with socialized medicine. Is that now because of cigarette smokers? I think everybody has the right to smoke too. But if you're going to make me pay for people's uh, uh, health care, then I guess I have a say in how they live, right? Um, you know, right. At, at this point, everybody only gets to eat uh, vegetables, and um, you know they they have to exercise uh, th- two hours a day. And and I, I now in the UK, it. they're starting to regulate what kind of porn you can even watch. Which Indeed, we'll get into at some point. Mark, thank you for the <laughs> I'm call. Not sure. I appreciate it. 855 450 free. Take your opinion on this too. I think Mark had a great one. 855 450 free. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. The Experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. I just heard the best sales pitch I've heard in a long time on an airplane. The flight attendant announced, if you paid more than $75 for your round trip ticket, you overpaid. This is brilliant because everybody on the flight paid more. And I was struck by how all the road warriors stopped typing and reading and working and looked up. The announcement invited us to apply for the airline's credit card. And the sign-up bonus? Enough frequent flyer miles for a free round trip. Talk about turning lemons into lemonade. With some banks offering free credit cards, $75 is an outrage for an annual fee, but a bargain for airline tickets. For more tips on communicating more effectively, hit survivalspeech.com, where you can see how I got the CEO of another major airline to shower me with freebies. I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. 
Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Hey, it's Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in there, or you can call us on Skype. The audio is really quite good on Skype. Much our user, better. Our username is lrn.fm. That says in Liberty Radio Network, lrn.fm. You have to send us a uh, request. We can I can take care of that in just moments. Um, it pops up on the screen, click, and then you can call in and use and get much better audio. Yeah, whenever I whenever I call into the show from not being in the studio, I always use Skype. It works out much better. Yep. 855-450 free. And uh, we're talking about this situation with Eric Garner in, in New York, um, and I think that the uh, the caller Mark really pointed out something very important here: is is that Eric Garner wasn't killed so much because of his race, but because he was a tax dodger, and those those taxes, th those are voluntary things that the city of New York puts on to dissuade you from smoking. I, I don't know how we got the term voluntary, but the, but the city of New York the certainly city, tacked the, those on to the price they did of cigarettes. It, and they did it on purpose, I guess. Yeah. Uh, they could choose to remove them any time that they want. Right. I, I don't mean to say that you voluntarily get to pay a certain amount of taxes, but I um, the, the city of New York could remove them at any point. So he was killed by cigarette taxes. Um, arguably, yeah. I mean, it was it's a situation where, as we were saying earlier, I mean, you could pay up to $15 for a pack of cigarettes in New York City right now. Out where I was uh, from in New York in Long Island, it was up over $10 a pack when I left, uh, you know, in 2012. And it's just gotten worse. And, of course, New York City has its own things on top of the state taxes. Just to prove I'm old, um, I, I – it used to be that I think it was silly when, when people would say, oh, I remember when that was 15 cents or whatever they would say. Right. But I can't think of a pack of cigarettes as worth anything more than $2. Um, you know, that was what they were paying when the last time I bought cigarettes and or you know, the last time I sort of remember buying cigarettes. And that's what they were worth to me. You can go to listen to Free Talk Live in lots of different ways. We have lots of different options at listen.freetalklive.com. Live streams are 150 great radio stations, uh, free to air satellite, the webcam where you can go see Cantwell and I performing in the studio right now. Listen lines, I think those are the best. Those are telephone numbers you can call to hear the show. So if you're in an area where maybe the data connection isn't as good as you'd like it to be, you just call the telephone number, and my phone sort of routes through the car automatically. I think it's great. So it's listen.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Scott calling in from California. Scott, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, how you doing, guys? Um, it was one of the comments you were discussing about of the um, the ratio of uh, black citizens to black officers or white officers in Ferguson. Yeah. And um, it led me to think about I've been hearing this for, for a while. Um, I, I was born and raised in Detroit, and uh, the Detroit credo, or I should say the, 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 the ruling in Detroit was back when, was if you wanted to be a police officer in the Detroit police force, you had to be a resident of Detroit in order to serve. Um, then over the 70s and 80s, you know, the um, population was decreasing. They were losing police officers. Not enough people were applying that lived in Detroit proper. So then they had to break down that barrier yeah. so that it didn't matter if you lived. You could live in the suburbs because that's where most of the officers are going. Anyways, I think the, the problem is is that there's just not enough black applicants that are applying for it. I, I don't think I, – I think that's where your, where your disparity in the ratio of black and white officers come from. I don't think that there's any racism going on whatsoever. Well, I, I, I don't know what Ferguson's rule of, is as far as living in the town, but um, right. And I think that's a. I always think that's an interesting idea where the police and the firefighters should live in the community that they serve. I can understand why some communities choose not to do that because you know some people develop grudges against police officers, and if it's a small enough community, you're like, hey, 
I know where he lives. I'll just set his house on fire or shoot his kid um, or whatever it is. And I, I get why people don't do that. But and I, it, let's assume that Ferguson doesn't have those rules because I don't know that they do. So they could then, recruit from around the nation. I mean, it's just a, it's an issue of pay, right? I mean, if you're a police officer in if you're a black police officer in Podunk, Nowhereville, and you can get three or four thousand dollars more a year by moving to Ferguson, you might do that. But don't you think that that would itself be like a racist policy that they'd be turning down white applicants to go out in search specifically of black officers from around the world? I mean, you're going to start importing uh, black police officers just to have a different ethnic makeup in your police force? Um, well, I mean, that's that's essentially what you do anyway. I mean, I, like it's like sports teams for a second. When you look at the sports team, the only thing that there is to like about the local sports team really is the color and the name of uh, and sort of the where they're from. So I like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Very few people who play on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are from Tampa Bay. Right. Right. So, um, you know, there's nothing you, 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 you can't really like them for that reason. They're brought in. They're recruited. And I think that, um, you know, in these circumstances, the reality of race in America, that's all I'm talking about here. I'm no fan of race. Right. Um, but the reality is, is that it just doesn't feel very good to be a citizen of a 80 percent black city and have a 92 percent black white uh, police force like that's just a mess well i i i can see that and i can understand why it would make people feel uncomfortable i just don't know what they I, it seems to me that anything other than hey go be a cop then you know which i don't want to encourage people to do would, would be the the way to deal with that because it's if the, it, the there is not a great deal of shall we say reverence for the police department in most black neighborhoods right i mean we don't generally uh find that being the whole i want to grow up to be a cop thing part of that is their own psychological disenfranchisement because of the race separation race se whoop i guess we've uh, we've lost him I, we've talked him into the dirt he had to go <laughs> drop the phone or whatever it was by the way the uh, the rule on free talk live is one call per evening but if for whatever reason your call drops and you get lost that you can call back so okay. that's the uh I guess that's the the workaround. It's the loophole. Let's go to uh, James calling in from Wisconsin. James, you're listening to LRN.FM on the internet? Yes, sir. How you doing? Well, actually, right now I'm listening to it on the phone. Uh, through the listen right. line? Yep. You're a man after my own heart, James. I, I just love that, uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that number that you can call in on. Yeah, pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, so I think, uh, well, what I wanted to bring up was I don't know if you guys really tapped into it. Um, the The problem is pretty easy to to at least see uh, where the problem stemmed from, and and that's the welfare state, right? Um, and the way that it uh, the this the situations that it creates in urban, particularly minority communities. That's kind of uh, circumstantial, though, and it has the same impact on everyone else that it touches. Certainly. Um, I, I, I do feel that uh, the welfare state has sort of tar targeted certain minority groups in the United States and well, has not done them a great deal of favors. There are more white people on welfare than there are any other ethnicity, but there are more white people. Um, there is a larger percentage of blacks on welfare than a, as percentage of whites, and uh, I think percentage of any other ethnicity. I believe that they are the number one ethnicity as a percentage yeah. of their population. Yeah. Um, but you know and i i do think that there are adverse effects i just don't know how to address that when you when we say that there are just a lot more white people on uh, on, on welfare but that uh, you know minority uh, communities have been decimated i don't know really how to work that in james uh, well okay okay yeah i got you um so the the amount of it's not it's not just a problem with you know a large population it's the way it compounds itself when a large population sort of lives within close proximity of each other, because what they're doing is they're creating a, an entire culture of of, of welfareism, yeah, um, and which which breeds its own sort of set of problems. I mean, how to how to address the welfare problem? It doesn't take any consideration of race. You just either you know eliminate. Um, well, first you eliminate the minimum wage, right? And you uh, and you eliminate the prohibition of working uh, without you know without occupational licenses. Um, you you eliminate the prohibition of being allowed to voluntarily interact and voluntarily engage in 
trade uh, of goods and services with your neighbor, regardless of, you know, what your financial status or who your, you know, welfare administrator is or what city you live in. You just allow people who are, I would say, if you wanted to start somewhere, you could start with people who are collecting welfare. You allow them to work and bring in an income, right, regardless of what that income is and regardless of how they achieve it. And you wean them off the system that way. And you don't even have to start with taking away the welfare. You know, a lot of people would say, well, we can't have the welfare. Uh, we can't take away the welfare because that would create, you know, chaos and yeah. everyone would be rioting. So you're saying just say, just give them a time limit. Look, in two years, this automatic payment of yours is going away. You better figure something out. Um, we're not going to well, go I after mean, you for licensing. We're not going to go after you for minimum wage violations. We're not going to go after you for anything. Figure out a way to support you and yours in that amount of time. Is that what you're saying? I mean, yeah, you can put a time limit on it or, or whatever. I think, the, you know, as soon as you do that, as soon as you as soon as you take away the prohibition, as soon as you say we're not going to go after you, they're gonna they're gonna work. They're gonna bring in incomes. Actually, they're gonna flourish. Yeah, I think you're right? probably and, right. Thank you so much, James. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2014. Gold closed Tuesday at $1,198, down $8. Silver closed at $16.45, up $0.05, cents, and Bitcoin is trading around $380.65. Today's precious metal price is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. In the news... A judge has suspended enforcement of a South Florida city's law that restricts the public feeding of homeless people for 30 days and ordered mediation on the issue. The ordinance is aimed at keeping people from feeding the homeless in parks and other public places in Fort Lauderdale. The decision Tuesday by Broward Circuit Judge Thomas Lynch came in a challenge to the ordinance by 90-year-old homeless advocate Arnold Abbott, who has been arrested after defying it repeatedly. Lynch wants the dispute resolved through mediation or trial by the end of the year. 
The Obama administration is asking a federal appeals court to prevent the release of more than 30 videos of force-feeding procedures at Guantanamo Bay Military Prison. The president is asking the court to overturn a previous ruling by Judge Gladys Kessler, which would force the release of 32 videotapes that show Guantanamo guards performing a force cell extraction and force feeding. Despite leaders with the Occupy Central movement promising to turn themselves in, protesters in Hong Kong are continuing to fight against the communist government. Occupy Central leaders asked protesters to go home because they feared more violence from the police. However, Joshua Wong of the pro-democracy group Scholarism has launched a hunger strike until the government agrees to meet protesters' demands. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit TheLibertyBeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash TheLibertyBeat. A former Houston police officer found guilty of official oppression for kicking and beating an unarmed teenager has lost an appeal in a federal court. Drew Reiser and three other Houston officers were indicted over the 2010 assault on Chad Hawley. Hawley, who was 15 at the time, was a suspect in a burglary and was being chased by police. A surveillance video showed the officers knock Hawley down with their patrol car, then attack him as a group. Reiser attempted to get the verdict overturned. Students at three high schools in the Ferguson area on Tuesday walked out of classes to express their concerns about the grand jury's decision not to indict Darren Wilson, the police officer who fatally shot 18-year-old Michael Brown in August. Teachers joined the students. On Tuesday, an Egyptian judge sentenced 185 Muslim Brotherhood supporters to death over their role in an attack on a police station near Cairo, Egypt, which killed 12 police officers. The sentence must go through an appeals process and be approved by the country's religious authorities before becoming official. The U.S. House of Representatives unanimously passed the No Social Security for Nazis Act, which would end all remaining benefits provided to veteran Nazis. The latest bill comes after a report by the Associated Press, which revealed that dozens of deported Nazis were still receiving millions of dollars in retirement benefits. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Did you know you can support the Liberty Beat when shopping on Amazon.com? Simply log into your account after clicking our Amazon affiliate link at libertybeat.com slash Amazon. You can help the Liberty Beat continue to deliver hard-hitting Liberty news and activist updates by doing your Amazon shopping after following our link at thelibertybeat.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Coming up a little later, the 10 best careers for someone at your level of attractiveness. Oh, but right now we have something truly incredible for you. Kenneth Quinn is a real-life psychic medium who claims that he can communicate with dead acquaintances. He's written a new book. It's called Small Talk from Beyond, Speaking with Distant Relatives and Friends of Friends Who Have Passed. Hi, Kenneth. Good to see you. Now, Thank Kenneth, you. you've written that you're able to connect people with the spirits of their old college professors or roommates that they didn't really know that well. When did you realize that you had this gift? Well, it was the day after my cousin's friend's wife's funeral. I was at home and I suddenly felt a presence in the room with me. And I heard a voice say, it's Vicky. Vicky Solchek, Dale's wife. Wow. We made a Tim's birthday thing a while back and we talked about how hard it is having a cat. Fascinating. This has been so amazing. This has <laughs> been fabulous. Thank you, Kenneth Quinn, for being our guest. Stay with us because coming up next, we're gonna show you how to lose some of that excessive weight by constantly picking at your skin. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live is live seven nights a week. Right now. If it's you're listening between 7 10, and 10 p.m. Eastern time, you can call in 
at 855-450-FREE. That's F-R-E-E spelled out, and it's uh, 3733. So 855-450-3733. Or you can call us on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. And in the previous segment, we were previous hour, we were talking about uh, the choking death of Eric Garner in New York. And, you know, that was over, I guess, Lucy cigarettes and that sort of thing. You can still call in about that, 855-450-FREE. Or you can call in about whatever's on your mind. But we're going to change things up a little bit here. Apparently, there's new porn le- legislation in Great Britain. Yeah, in the United Kingdom. Uh, it's... Kind of crazy if you look at it. I've, I'm looking at a story in uh, the UK Independent by a woman going by the name of Erica Lust. It says, uh, <laughs> the new UK porn legislation will turn erotic film into boring, unrealistic male fantasy. Now, if porn was ever something other than and unrealistic male, male fantasy, fantasy, then I'm really interested to find out what that porn was. <laughs> I was yeah, kind of interested. They do make, uh, there are like these sort of women's porn uh, producers out there uh, i'm not exactly sure what uh, the difference is in them but uh, yeah i know when i go to Pornhub, uh, my go-to <laughs> porn site like there is like a category like female friendly or for her porn okay yeah and i don't i've never looked at it yeah, why would you it's not for you <laughs> yeah um but yeah and and so she writes she writes in the UK Independent today pornography in the UK has been quietly censored with a long list of acts now banned from film as an erotic filmmaker i'm saddened by what i hear not only because my fellow producers will suffer as businesses but because what is most apparent is the enforced restriction on what appears to be acts from which women derive pleasure Porn and adult film has always been a very male-dominated industry. We need more women in porn as it is, but it seems that we are now back in an era of Victorian morality. We need more women in porn? I, it's, it seems like there's far more women in porn than there are men. I think that she's probably referring the to the producers. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. seems to me that men are the ones who are running the porn industry. Yes, but of course, uh, you know, uh, there's no shortage of female porn actors because those, those girls do make up. A good bit of money. Indeed. Um, The suppression of sexuality in the UK is not a new development, but recently it appeared that we were making some progress. The last year, for example, has seen a huge increase in women speaking out more freely about their sexuality. Suddenly, we're seeing more female porn producers and more adult film created specifically for women. So it should come as little surprise to me, knowing the struggle that we have had to break porn away from the masculine industry regulation that these same women are now being oppressed. It's 2014, and we need to acknowledge that sexuality is key to human nature, whether it be called so-called normal sex as we imagine it or kinkier desires. The fact yeah, that I think that this is something that people just don't want to admit is that we're all sexual creatures and that there is a you know, like sort of a legitimate porn industry. I can't imagine another talk show where they would admit going to Pornhub. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just can't imagine where they're doing that. And it's like, you know, somehow you're not supposed to say that. You're not supposed, you know, the internet is full of porn for a reason. People are going there. Normal folks are going there. Not going to porn uh, sites is really quite abnormal. Yeah, now, absolutely. I'll tell you what's normal. Normal is not talking about it, pretending like it doesn't happen, saying, oh, well, I, I wouldn't know, you know, those kind right. of things. That's just as normal as it could possibly be. Right, because it's normal for people to lie and deceive uh, and watch pornography. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you watch movies for other reasons, why not watch movies for prurient reasons? It's obviously not for the acting skills. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I and I do I do appreciate some good acting in in porno. By the way, I I get totally taken out of a scene if if the girl's totally obviously faking it. See, know. I would not be well. Uh, I, you're talking about fake enjoying it during the act, and I've heard some um, actresses truly do enjoy it and others are good actresses and others are you can like see them every once in a while. You'll see like their their eyes move to something that's happening and sort of off camera, and you're like, oh well. You know, somebody just gave her direction or something on how to do this, and right. it sort of ruins the whole thing. But, um, you know, I mean, it's – I think that – I never watched the stories in porn. I think that that's all kind of silly to me. I used to be a big fan of um, <laughs> a thing called Bang Bus. 
and yes, Bang Bus. Bang Bus. Yeah, you're, you're familiar with Bang Bus. Okay, so and I and I did like the storylines in there, and they had some really interesting dialogue. Well, what, that, like, to, what is the storyline? Well, that they would basically the idea behind Bang Bus was they take a guy out in this uh, with the in the Bang Bus in this van, and they'd go and pick a girl up basically off the streets and offer to give her a ride home. But you know, at some point they'd realize that they weren't on the way home; they were off in some distant place, and they'd They're tell the girl him. either you're going to have sex with this guy or you're going to get out of the car and walk home. Well, a lot of times they'd offer money. Um, they did, yeah. They certainly offered them money, but you know, it, 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 they would either bribe or coerce them, whatever yeah. it took. Right. It was just you know, it was just the the you know the 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 storyline, and what they would often do is after the act, then they would treat her like a a hoe and like throw her out of the bus in the middle of nowheresville, and and uh, sometimes they'd throw the money at her, sometimes they'd keep it, you know, just a a variety of different things. Right. I remember they switched it up one time, and they had uh, they were taking one of their girlfriends out and find, trying to find some guy. Like that's difficult. Yeah. Um, and uh, they 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 turned it around just to see how that would do for views, and I thought it was all sort of. Clever, and what it allowed for is it allowed actresses who were, say, not so porn starry, to be able to make some money in the uh, the porn industry, Certainly. and uh, you know guys that weren't so porn you know guy, um, and they could you know they this was sort of porn for the everyday person more so, but then it you know it jumped the shark at some point, and it, it, I don't even know if it exists anymore. Yeah, it's uh, I do believe that the the website is still there, but it was. Uh, it was definitely a different. Uh, uh, it, it was. It used to be more credible. I think. I think they they changed it up a lot. Uh, in any case, that's not what's going on in the UK though. They had banned. Uh, there's always been some restrictions on this in the UK as far as it went with uh, uh, DVDs, right? So the. the what has changed in the UK is now that the same the same rules apparently that had applied to DVDs all along are now applying to video on demand and like internet produced stuff, which, by the way, like has no effect on the porn that you can watch in the UK. You can actually still go and watch porn that is produced in the United States or anywhere else. Uh, you can watch that on the internet. Obviously, there's no rule against that. Oh, so they're not even stopping you from getting internet porn porn and uh, I, I don't even understand all, all all they're all they're changing is uh, how porn in the porn produced in the UK is produced is and there a lot of that I mean do, do many people in the UK say I just have to get my porn with uh, silly English accents I mean is that what the the thing is I mean I sure, mean I there's a, there's different genres of race in porn I didn't realize there were sort of regions yeah so the uh I personally am like totally taken out of a scene by like a British accent in my porn. Like if I if I hear a British accent in a porn, I close that tab and I go to the next one. But apparently <laughs> there are other people who feel uh, differently about it. I guess you just don't keep it on mute. But what they did was um, what what they, what they oh how do you watch porn on mute? I don't understand you that. Keep the, the audio is like the most important part. <laughs> uh, but in in the UK, what they're doing now is so you can't now produce porn in the UK that contains uh, any of the following: uh, spanking, caning. Caning? Yeah, no caning. Okay, so yeah, like, I'm going to get introduced to some things that I, I find shocking, so I'm just going to not jump in every time. Go ahead. Um, aggressive whipping. Uh -huh. So apparently there's some whipping allowed, not yeah. you know too little... much. Penetration by any object, quote, associated with violence. So I guess you can't put like a, a, a do an insertion scene with like a fake gun or, or gun something. Gun barrel or like a whip. The the, the the you know the handle of a whip yeah uh, physical or verbal abuse so verbal abuse would certainly rule out anything like we had with bang bus uh -huh. uh, and uh, uh, water sports are like like a, a urine play uh, -huh. uh role playing is not adults and we'll we'll talk a little bit more about it when we come back it's yeah, free talk what do you live. think about this banning of porn what are going to be the unforeseen consequences eight five five four five zero three seven three three so the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's 
the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me... Government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in, talk about whatever's on your mind. We're talking about porn, certain porn acts being made illegal in the UK. Yeah, exactly. So you're not allowed to, if you're producing pornography in the UK, you're not allowed to uh, do any of the things that are on this this list that, that came out as part of an, an act that recently got passed. We'll talk about that list in a second, but uh, I first want to tell you about a really incredible piece of audio theater. So if you believe in the ideas of liberty, like me, you may find it difficult, like me, to read stories or watch movies or um, those kind of things with uh, the kids in your life because so many things have collectivist and statist propaganda built right into them. 
Well, I was listening to one of the best pieces of audio theater that I've ever heard recently, and it's so good that I would, you might even call it an audio movie played out on the screen of your mind. It's, it's that great. It's got big name actors and actresses in it. Uh, for instance, Billy Boyd of uh, Lord of the Rings, Skandar Keynes of uh, Chronicles of Narnia, James Cosmo of Braveheart, Joanne Froggett of Downton Abbey. Uh, these are big names. As a matter of fact, it's got its own uh, score that was produced for it. It's in Freedom's Cause, and it's one of the greatest stories of the struggle for freedom in recorded history, the story of William Wallace. It's like Braveheart, only it doesn't have all those historical inaccuracies. And, um, you know, I think that it, that's important. You can, uh, you can appreciate Braveheart for the movie it is, but it isn't particularly <laughs> accurate. Um, history's been gutted and sanitized, and Freedom's Cause brings history alive for kids and adults in a wholesome way. Give the gift of freedom to your loved ones this year by purchasing In Freedom's Cause at infreedomscause.com. You get the family four-pack with a special code for you Free Talk Live listeners, use coupon code FTL. You get the family four-pack of CDs for half price, half off. So you'll get four CDs. That's four different gifts for the price. It's a great deal. You support Free Talk Live. You support the uh, you know, more Liberty audio being produced, and uh, you know it's great. And you're helping your family and uh, the young ones in your life. Infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. L. Let's go to Rusty calling in from Houston. Rusty, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, uh, y'all. Uh, I think the UK kind of banning certain porn is a jobs program. And stay with me on this. Okay. It's going to take lawyers out of the legal profession that would focus on something else. They're going to waste their time and focus on porn. Uh, any cases dealing with porn that may fall under whatever committee that's created paid for by British tax dollars to oversee this new legislation. They'll create police, porn police, to go around and check people's houses or just make sure people aren't watching the wrong porn. Uh, they'll clog up the courts with stupid cases about uh, you know, a person being found with that illegal porn, create a black market. You'll have shady deals for DVDs. Uh, it's, it's a joke all around. But. Yeah, I think you're probably right that it'll it'll cause you know it'll cause a creation of jobs. I I hesitate to call it jobs because it's not really work. <laughs> it's a job, but it's not work. Yeah, it's it doesn't not, it's produce not, anything. Uh, it's not positive econo economic production. It's work, all right. I mean, going through courts and dealing with all of that madness yeah. is certainly uh, a it frustrating thing. That, that you you could not pay me enough to do it. That's for <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. But uh, no, uh, no, no value being provided by any uh, stretch of the imagination. Yeah, I think you're right on that, Rusty. Do you think this could happen in the U.S. or with Larry Flynn? It seems like some of the laws would push back a bit. I Dealing with regulating kind of porn. Do you think there's going to be something like this could take place in the U.S. again? I I would I would tend to say that it it could right like it could it uh, has it it yes we already have had there's a guy uh, Max Hardcore got yep. locked up for uh, obscenity or uh, uh, distributing obscene material uh, it 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 has happened there have been pornographers uh, locked up in the United States already for what would otherwise uh, usually be considered free speech activity there's this the movie the video uh two girls one cup if any of you seen it is banned in the united states that y this is considered uh obscene uh material that is not oh it's obscene all right yeah yeah exactly uh <laughs> yeah. and it's not you know the most erotic thing that i've ever watched but you know it is a it is a shocking I only funny saw it thing for a moment uh and uh that was all i needed to see yeah i used to love to show it to people and be like hey have you seen this you know porno yet you know and and people get you know it, you, you, you see the beginning of it you know the two girls are kissing and you know some guys like hey yeah this looks oh my god what have i seen right, <laughs> right. you cannot unsee it so i mean it's it already has happened in the here in the united states and one of the things that i think if you look at here is interesting i, I I was looking at two separate articles at independent.co.uk today, and one of them was written by a woman who sort of like made it sort of like from a, a feminist angle, was just trying to make this, uh, you know, against 
female pleasure or something like that. But I actually think that a lot of this stuff goes towards this whole discussion of rape culture, right? Like there are people who are, uh, you know, insisting that uh, society is so bad that it's just like socially acceptable to to rape women now. And that's that's rape culture. And so they want to do things to sort of get away from that. And I think that this is part of that. I actually think probably there's a lot of, you know, feminist influence here. You're not supposed to be spanking or caning or... Well, there's two different sort of uh, sides of the feminist camp. There's the sex positive uh, feminist, and I don't know what they call the other other ones, uh, but uh, you know, some people believe that fem- uh, fe- some feminists believe that women are exploited like every time when any sex act occurs, essentially, or especially when it's uh, recorded in some way, and so sex bad. Uh, but others are like, no, no, women should be free to do what men are do or whatever. Rusty, yeah, uh, feminists, I think they are going away a type of man hating environment. I know. Uh, the actress recently came out, I think, at the U.N. and said that it's not a man-hating culture, but it sure seems like it at times when they portray every male as a rapist or just finding some way to trick a woman into having sex with them. That's, that's just not how it is. It's a well, mutual I think that the sad part about the Internet is, is when people try to uh, make reasonable points um, and they ally themselves in a group, right? Uh, that what you'll often find is is that the nuts in that group are the ones that are sort of pointed out. Um, I don't know what the reasonable points are from the feminist camp. I have yet to sort of figure that out. It seems like uh, most of them are debunked by Time magazines, the the four feminist, uh, the four uh, sexual rules or whatever that that uh, just won't die. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I'll post it at uh, facebook.freetalklive.com, but. Uh, you know what I often hear the the best points I guess are women CEOs don't make as much as men and there aren't nearly as many of them, or there aren't as many women politicians as men. But in a lot of cases, those are sort of self selecting careers and they're not easy to to do. So I don't know what I think about all that. But I do appreciate the call, Rusty. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Let's talk to Pugnacious Pete. You're on Free Talk Live. How you doing, Mark? How you doing, Mark and Ian? Hey, Ian's, uh, not, Ian's here. not with it's, us it's, today. Uh, it's Campbell. Well. Just uh, tease it. Tease what you want to talk about here, here Pete, because we gotta. We're going in. Uh, we only give you a second here for a second. Yeah, I want you to check out my new uh, my new uh, blog talk radio spot. It's called uh, Radio Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Oh, this is going to be great. Just hang on through the break, man. <laughs> 855 450 free. Free talk live. This holiday season, give the gift that keeps on giving, an in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. With your very own freeze dryer, you'll be able to freeze dry the food your family loves. Because we live in uncertain, difficult times, what better way to show your love for your family than to buy them a gift that helps them preserve food they can use now or in 25 years? Go to HarvestRight.com and find out how you can get your in-home freeze dryer. Layaway is available. That's HarvestRight.com. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When the cleaners ruined some special clothing, all they could do was show us the sign that said they weren't responsible. But when they got the letter from one of our Legal Shield attorneys, he promptly gave us a check for $1,152. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free Talk Live. It's if I'm watching not a cable, just regular news, and they give me the news, and the next flash is two people fornicating, okay? And then every other word is F U, a B I C, a ho, and all mm-hmm. this stuff, and penis. Do you think I need to say that? That's not acceptable no matter what. You're saying free airways for anything goes for anybody. For public access, yes. That's, that's exactly its that purpose. That's acceptable. the purpose of it. Why, why not? Uh, do you want a red light in front of a cop? Uh, probably not in front of a cop yeah, because right? he'd hurt so what's me. What's the same difference if you're going to have that kind of FU and seeing two people fornicating after they just said the weather is 92 degrees and five well, inches? Wait, I think you're a little confused about something No, here. I'm not point, confused. Point of information. You're trying to confuse people. Let's let's clarify free that. airways are free within limits. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 
Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit, or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. When I first heard the story that uh, certain sex acts were going to be outlawed in porn in Great Britain, the first thing I thought about was... Pro XPN. Pro XPN. <laughs> Pro XPN is a uh, uh, it, it's a virtual private network, and what it allows you to do is encrypt your uh, internet connection from you to the websites you go to. So, if for instance you're in some place that won't let you see certain pornography or whatever websites they don't want you to see, you can see that by simply using a VPN. And ProXPN.com is among the best. You just go to proxpn.com slash FTL, and we got a discount for you. It works on all computers. Um, you just use promo code FTL, and you'll get 50% off the annual account. And that's about 5 bucks a month. So with coupon code FTL50, did I say FTL50? C- coupon code FTL50, um, you get that savings for the lifetime of the account, not just for the first year, first three months or whatever. It's for the lifetime. And if you want to save a little more, you can use Bitcoin and use coupon code FTLBTC, and you get 62% off of an annual account. So I mean, it, it's getting really inexpensive to be able to have private internet browsing. And you say, you don't need it. I don't do that stuff. That's fine. You can just let your internet service provider continue to collect all kinds of data on where you go and what your habits are, and they're going to do whatever they want with that data. They'll give it to the government if the government asks, or maybe they'll just give it to the government anyway. They'll uh, sell it to uh, marketers. They'll do whatever they want. Um, anybody who happens to be able to get into your Wi-Fi or, and sp- or spoof your packets or whatever, well, they can have uh, access to your information, uh, your bank account information and all that stuff too. Don't worry about it. You don't go to porn sites. You don't need a VPN. You don't have a bank account. You don't need a VPN. You don't go to the internet. You don't have a tyrannical government. You don't need a VPN, for God's sake. So don't go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You're fine on the internet. Everything will be okay. Just continue (laughs) surfing on the internet without a prophylactic. It'll be all right. Proxpn.com slash FTL. Now, to to the credit of the the UK government, they they're not actually like banning like what kind of porn you can see. It's just the production, you know, yes. with, with certain things in the production of it. And maybe uh maybe Pete has some input on this. Yeah, so us. Pete uh, Pete apparently um is going to start a blog talk radio show, uh, Radio Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that right? 
You darn right, it's going to be like Free Talk Live, but with the with the grace of God instead of filthy porn. So, what do you think about um, the UK uh, outlawing uh, the production of porn with certain acts in it? Are you for this or against it? I think it? the entire thing, the entire thing, should be legalized. And feminists should be hit with a stick by the rabbi. I'm sorry. You, you say it one more time. You think what should be what? I think the entire thing should be illegal in this country, and they're watching it should be illegal. And I think that feminists should be hit with a stick by the rabbi in open court after they're convicted. Okay. So uh, rabbis should be hitting promiscuous Femin. women or f- uh, feminists, and uh, porn should be banned. So, I mean, okay. this I really is got what this we can expect from Radio Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, apparently. I really got this wrong, Pete, and I'm one, sorry. Remember? Because I thought you actually yeah. supported some kind of human freedom, like you you support maybe freedom of religion. That's no, no, you don't. Um, <laughs> and uh, and so you know you're supporting illegalizing it. I, I you know I, I thought we had. It was you, a felony. What's a felony? It used to be a felony before the seventies when it was legalized. Remember that? I don't. I wasn't alive be before the seventies. But um, what's a felony? Do you think the world's a better place now? It's a worse place. And look at it. You know what? We turn our back on conservative Christian principles. Uh-huh. Look at what happened to society. We say, oh, there's no harm, no foul, no violation of common life. I just do whatever I want to my body. Look yeah. at the destruction it does to your next-door neighbor. What does it do to your next-door neighbor? What my next-door neighbor seems fine, and I look at porn. We're not, well, I used to. I used to be addicted, but Jesus set me free. I'm so it's glad you're free. It's of the, you it's had, of a, the you had a pornography addiction there, Pete? Of course, and it's a road to hell. Everybody's addicted to something, and they need the freedom from Jesus Christ. Nothing sets you free from drug abuse, abortion, homosexual things. Huh. Do we lose him? Apparently, nothing sets you free from the phone line either. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. I I, I definitely I've been trying to encourage him and and a couple of our other like regular callers that they should definitely you know create a podcast or do their own show. I had a lot of fun the other night. I was going through. Uh, Dave in New York, Hudson Valley Guys uh, YouTube channel, and that was hilarious. He yeah. had all these different videos up. And, like, you know, most of his videos don't have more than two or three views on them, but he just keeps on producing videos every single day. And probably, like, a dozen of them were, like, personals ads. Like, <laughs> hey, girls, will you date me? And here is all the criteria under which I may or may not date you. And oh, so I he just, has a bunch of rules? Oh, yeah. Like, Dave in New York, Dave in New York will not sleep with uh, women who have kids. He says that in every single one. If you got kids, nope, can't do it. Um, uh, you know, no fat chicks for, for Dave in New York. He huh. had some, you know, he, Dave in New York has some standards, man. Uh, I don't know, you know, how often these ads are well, actually standards are met. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, how often the standards are met is another question because it doesn't seem to be that uh, more than you know. I I don't think more than any of his videos have more than you know ten or fifteen views on them. Most of them have less than ten. We certainly have a bevy of sort of uh, nutty callers here on Free Talk Live regulars, and we've always had that. Uh, it's just it's the nature of opening up the phone lines and letting anybody call in about anything. Yeah, uh, is you're going to get some people that just have some wacky opinions. Um, and and some of these people, you know, I think that I, I certainly think that there's actually like a demographic that would be very interested to hear what 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 Pete in California has to say about God and homosexuals and you know Jesus and pornography. He might, he and might be able to get himself a following and uh, you know people giving him money and stuff. Yeah, I mean, and I and I would absolutely would love I would love to hear the uh, I would love to hear the audio content because I mean he, the guy has no problem talking. He can call up here, keep us busy for a segment if we don't you know if the phone doesn't disconnect or we don't hang up don't on him. Get rid of him. Well, he does some street preaching too, and that's always kind of interesting to uh, to hear about. Uh, you know, I mean he's out there hassling people on the subways or whatever. With yeah, he stuff needs too. a YouTube channel. I mean the the the, the radio. Sodom and Gomorrah thing sounds interesting, Pete, and I and I really am going to tune into it. I want to hear it. But you need a YouTube channel because my understanding is that Pete is running around in the streets of California yelling at people about homosexuality and how it's going to send us all to hell. And I think that that's got to be making for some really interesting videos. Somebody, not only should Pete have his own camera, somebody should be following 
compete around yeah. with a camera. He should have like a mounted head mounted go cam or something like that, and then just uh, yeah, that would be that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, getting back to the story, what are the acts that are being outlawed here in the UK? Yeah, porn? so in in the UK, you're not allowed to now do certain things uh, if you're producing the porn there. It doesn't restrict what you're allowed to view as a as a porn consumer. You can you know watch as much filthy violent porn from the United States as you want in the UK. But you're not allowed to produce porn in the UK if it has spanking, caning, aggressive whipping, penetration by any object, quote, associated with violence, physical or b- verbal abuse, uh, ural, verbal abuse sorry. uralagnia, uralagnia, which is like uh, Sounds gross. urine play. People want to play uh, water sports, as some people have referred to I it. prefer that term. Um <laughs> Uh, role playing as non adults, so you can't uh, really. Yeah, so like I guess the the like babysitter, you know, oh, I take my pigtails down, sort of thing is maybe uh, yeah. a little less permitted there now. Well, I, the, that's that's interesting. Now, when it says non adult, like obviously these aren't the law; these are just interpretations of the law. But you know, when it said non adult, I was thinking, well, what if they want to be like these furries, people who dress up as. Uh, uh, barnyard critters or whatever the heck they do, and uh, <laughs> they, they do it or whatever, and that it's not an adult; it's a uh, a critter. Yeah, and so I imagine what they're talking about here is is uh, kids, and right. you know, some people like to wear diapers and whatever the heck they do. It's it's all uh, it, 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 the human sexuality is a funny messed up game, and. I have no idea where all these this kink comes from. I think half of it comes from the suppression, just the suppression of uh, of of sexuality. That if you if if, uh, sex wasn't so it's shamed that you would you would have far less kink. But what is your thought on that? Eight five five four five zero three seven three three Free Talk Live. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Mom gives us our own special Christmas ornament every year. This year, she gave me one with a picture of me playing soccer. It's my most favorite ornament ever. Each Christmas, moms everywhere create the wonderful tradition of placing special ornaments on the Christmas tree. This year, you can make your tradition even more special with unique, customizable ornaments from personalcreations.com. They have an amazing selection of adorable ornaments to choose from. You can even design the characters to look just like members of your family, including your pets. And you can customize each ornament with any name you'd like to make them truly one of a kind. Radio listeners, you can get a special deal. For a limited time when you order select ornaments on the site, you'll get a second one absolutely free. That's two amazing ornaments for the price of one. And personalization is included. But hurry because this exclusive offer ends this Friday at midnight. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click on the orange star in the top right corner and enter the secret code 6767. That's personalcreations.com, secret code 6767. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. (coughs) But don't worry. Herbalhealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. Herbalhealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. 
FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-453-free. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, my name's Mark. And I'm Chris Cantwell. 855-453. If you're wondering where Ian is, it is his night off. Um, he takes a sort of a floating night off somewhere between like Tuesdays and Thursdays. So uh, otherwise, we're on seven nights a week on Free Talk Live. And there's not many shows that have that level of commitment. We're doing six days a week. Ian and I are. And we bring in co-hosts like you, Cantwell. Glad and uh, you know, helping us out and make, keeping the keeping the show spicy, um, <clears> but you know, there's not many shows that uh, give it to you like that, and and there aren't many shows that'll give you away the archives for free. You can go to archives.freetalklive.com and you can get years, nearly a decade's worth of audio available to you at archives.freetalklive.com, and it's just for the downloading. You don't have to pay for it if you're. You know, if you want to listen to what Free Talk Live was doing six, seven, eight years ago, you can do that. Archives.freetalklive.com. We've been talking about this story out of Great Britain where apparently they're outlawing certain sex acts in porn. And I just wonder what's going, what's so bad in the world right now that we have to outlaw certain sex acts in porn? I mean, is it that big of a deal? I mean, there's certainly porn that I do not want to see. I think it's unhealthy. Uh, but outlawed? What's the point? Uh, the point is, uh, in, is in the case of all regulation and legislation, is to gain more control over entire segments of the economy, right? I mean, this is what these lunatics are always out to do, and whether it's... Uh, uh, saying that you can't have water sports in UK porn or uh, whether it's the war on drugs. I mean, at the end of the day, it's uh, uh, maniacal, violent, dangerous people inserting themselves into the voluntary and consensual affairs of others. Indeed. So um, is there any more facts on this besides yeah, just what's so, outlawed? Yeah, so we started to go through this this list, and uh, we, we got through, you know, spanking, caning, physical or verbal abuse, uh, water sports, role-playing as non-adults, anything with physical restraint if you're, if you're holding somebody down, if you're trying to uh, recreate a, a rape fantasy, something like that. Humiliation is, is no good, so that— uh, it takes out a huge section of would would take out a huge section of my uh, uh, porn consumption because I do sort of like that. Female ejaculation 
is is no longer allowed in UK porn. And that one I struck me as really being weird, right? Because that is something that there's certainly a lot of that in pornography today. Why that would be seen as something that the censors needed to get in an uproar about, I don't know. Some of these things, it almost seems like they're trying to make porn less violent. And while I disagree with it, I can understand why there are people who would want to do that, right? But this one, I mean, female ejaculation. What's not to love about female ejaculation? Well, I have no interest in it. I think it's uh, sort of messy and uh, you know, prurient and not what I'm interested in. But nonetheless, um, I don't think this. I don't think it should be outlawed. And I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with it either. I don't think that's uh, unhealthy. I think some of this uh, domination stuff uh, that you know, where it's uh, it looks like crimes. Yeah, yeah, I really have a problem with that. But yeah. you know, whatever. I like it. I mean, like I like to choke girls. You know, I God. like to. And th that's a great one for uh, there's there's a new Twitter account has been created called Out of Context Cantwell. So probably have a f blast with that one. I like to choke girls, but I like to have, like you know like choking during sex and Why? stuff. I like. What is wrong? Um, Were you abused as a child? What is this? Yeah, I, I was, and that maybe that has something to do with it. I got you know my I got spanked. You okay. Know. Uh, you well, know. A lot of people would say spanking is not abuse, but uh, you know whatever. Well, uh, but yeah, I like. If it's I like, consensual. If it's voluntary and consensual, I don't have a problem with well, it. Well, exactly. And I find like a lot of I find a lot of chicks are really like into that. You know, they want to be like slapped and choked and I have you know, heard, sort of treated strangely. I have heard, read on the internet that the uh, uh, the the rape fantasy for women is as prevalent and as common as the uh, two on one girl, two girls, one guy fantasy is for men. Oh yeah. And that's a pretty darn common, um, uh, fantasy. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, but it sounds like, you know, so somebody thinks it's pretty common. Certainly. And I mean, it's, it's, it goes to just sort of being dominated, being, you know, controlled and stuff like that. And that's something, it's something that's a very big turn on for, you know, a lot of women and, uh, you know, being in control and dominating another person is a very common fantasy for men. So for me to, uh, you know, find a girl who's into it, of course, you know, I don't go out and start choking and slapping random women on the street. No, that's it's not really going to work out well for you. Tempting as that might be at times uh, i i obviously don't do that and so when i find a, a woman who's also into these things you know likes to get uh, slapped and spanked and are there websites and, for you you folks oh yeah you know i mean i don't know about you know there's there's obviously like you know hookup websites and stuff like that i just use the regular you know dating apps and stuff okay. like that okay cupid plenty of fish and you know whatever Plenty along. of fish is that a dating dating app of some sort? Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, plenty of fish and OkCupid are the two like most popular free dating websites on the planet, I and see. they have smartphone apps. See, to now. me, what uh, you're talking about there sounds kinky to me, but apparently you don't think it's kinky enough that you have to go to some specialized website for dating. There are people that have to. Yeah, no, I don't think that uh, it's it's really not all that uncommon at all. I mean, especially like I mean, like spanking, I think is like just like normal at this point, like common. People you know, talk about and, it, you know. Uh, Seems girls, like wasting time to me. I, I I have yet to find a girl who didn't appreciate a smack on the butt during sex. Uh, you know, whether they're into like getting choked or how hard they like to get choked or slapped in the face, those are you know different questions. But, slapped in the face. Good yeah. luck. All right. Yeah. All right. So there, all that stuff's being outlawed in porn in, in Great Britain. Yeah, you're not allowed to. Uh, and uh, the, the last three were strangulation, face sitting, and fisting. Face sitting. Face sitting. Yeah. Now that is a little confusing to me because that seems like a uh, what what I think of when I hear that is is that uh, you know, that would be a relatively normal activity. I'm not going to sort of uh, describe bodies or anything like that. And I think that we might I'm pu pushing too far for what I'd prepared be prepared to do on the the radio, but. Uh, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal. Maybe there's some twist to it that I'm not familiar with. My understanding of it, and I and I don't I don't know that I have a firm definition of it here, but I think it's a little bit more than a girl getting a mustache ride, right? Like it's not it's not it's not just oral sex with the woman on top. It is uh, my understanding of it would be like sort of like smothering a person with uh, one's rear end or something like okay. that, and and uh, putting a great deal of pressure. On a on a person's face, and, and you know. But now this doesn't mean you can't view this stuff in Great Britain. They've just outlawed the production of porn in Great Britain that you know has this stuff. So really, precisely just, what they've done is is they've created a porn industry in 
Normandy or something, right? right. So there's just people well, are going to go to uh, the Isle of Man or um, you know some really close place and produce and take British actors and actresses that are you know they have the requisite. Uh, um, accents or whatever it is that they do um, to produce porn for people in Great Britain, and they're going to do their stuff there. Yeah, and that's that. All they've done is dr- driven an industry off the island. Exactly. That's that's all that they've accomplished. I mean, it reminds me of a thing that I think that there was like an ordinance passed in like Los Angeles, California, that you could that all porn produced in in Los Angeles, California, had to be produced with condoms. And yeah. I was like, well, I'm just not going to watch any porn that's produced in Los Angeles because condoms ruin porn for me even more than they ruin sex. Right? Like, I don't want condoms in my sex life, and I certainly don't want them in my pornography. Uh, but, you know, what did it take to get around that was to drive five minutes outside of Los Angeles and produce your porn there. Yeah, I don't know. What Los Angeles was hoping to do is to get it sort of pushed on into greater California. I know they had right. some success in getting some rules uh, as far as California goes. But New Hampshire, it's uh, legal to produce porn here, too. So uh, they may just drive the industry out of the state if they're not careful. I think they might have more trouble because it's so much e- – in California, there's just so many people, and people come there to have film careers, and uh, you know, some of them, it's not going to work out. You know, like, yeah. you have a talent, honey, and it isn't acting. Um, <laughs> you know, and they may – you know, they may end up uh, – it would be difficult for them to move out of the state because they wouldn't have that pool of resources there. Yeah, certainly. There's a lot of uh, a washed up or, or, you know, washed up would sort of ne- imply have, having been at yeah, some point. But, never uh, had. <laughs> yeah, some a, a lot of uh, women who uh, move out to California to make it big in the movie uh, industry and they end up uh, not with, waiting tables. with something big on their cheek instead. <laughs> <Right>. instead. <laughs> I, it, it certainly is the case, it seems to me. That's uh, at least to what, what one comes to believe. So you can give us a call, 855-450-3733. Share your thoughts on, well, the ruling um, on Eric Garner and, uh, and New York City, the you know this situation in Great Britain, 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Look, kid, when guys like us walk into a facility in the morning, we can smell a problem. No one needs to hand us a work order. We already know it. Today, for instance, we need a new gearbox, six globe valves, and a dozen ballasts. And when I smell a problem, Granger smells that I smell a problem. They help me keep this place up and running. Now that's the kind of smell I like. The sweet smell of success. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Majid lives in Nordavin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane and the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2014. 
Silver is trading at $16.38 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,200 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $384. Antiwar.com reports long-standing oil and revenue disputes between the Iraqi central government and the Kurdistan regional government have been resolved, according to a new report from the Finance Ministry. The ministry is reporting that the Kurdistan regional government will be providing 550,000 barrels of oil per day to the Iraqi oil ministry. In return, the central government will give the Kurds 17% of the entire national budget. Though the Finance Ministry did not mention it, the Kurdistan regional government is also claiming that under the deal, they're still allowed to sell oil produced above and beyond the amount agreed upon for the exchange. The Kurdistan regional government intends to export 1 million barrels per day by the end of 2015. Previously, Iraq and Kurdistan were disputing the rights of the Kurds to export oil abroad without oil ministry approval, and the central government was refusing to make payments to them related to the dispute. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Ars Technica reports the FBI seized 20 boxes of documents pertaining to a $1.3 billion iPad program from the Los Angeles Unified School District. The program, which was intended to give iPads to every student, teacher, and campus administrator of the nation's second largest school district, has met with many catastrophic difficulties, and this latest federal investigation led the new superintendent of the school system to shelve the project indefinitely. Unsurprisingly, high school students given iPads quickly hack them. The program first hit a bump in the road back in 2013 when a number of students hacked the iPads, which is to say they deleted the profile information that designated the user as a student, thus letting the student browse the internet unencumbered by the filter restrictions enforced by the school. At the same time, many teachers reported that they felt ill-equipped to use and teach with iPads. In October, the superintendent, John Deasy, resigned amid allegations of malfeasance, although he declined any wrongdoing. After his resignation, DC was replaced by Ramon C. Cortinez, who yesterday officially shelved the program, telling the Los Angeles Times, I think there have been too many innuendos, rumors, etc., and based on my reading of a great deal of material over Thanksgiving, I came to this conclusion. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports, U.S. House Speaker John Boehner will try to sell fellow Republicans this week on a government spending bill that avoids a shutdown fight but allows the party to strike back at President Obama's immigration order. Republicans have a lot riding on their handling of must-pass government funding. Having scored huge wins in November 4th voting that handed them a majority in the Senate and gave them a bigger majority in the House, Republican leaders want to demonstrate that they can govern responsibly next year. But many are still outraged that Obama bypassed Congress and is moving ahead unilaterally on immigration, granting what they claim is amnesty to people who came to the United States illegally. House Republicans will meet after a 10-day Thanksgiving break to discuss their response, including a leading option for Boehner that would fund most government agencies through September 2015, with a short-term extension for the Department of Homeland Security. House Republican lawmakers and aides say this would give them a chance to use their stronger House and Senate majorities next year to pass explicit spending restrictions on some DHS agencies to try to stop Obama's immigration overhaul. Senate Republicans are discussing similar proposals for a two-tier spending bill. Congress must pass a funding extension by December 11th to avoid a government shutdown. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com.
After logging onto the Xbox One game console of one of his classmates' homes, 12-year-old Michael Cutler admitted to reporters this week that he really does not have the slightest clue about what his friend's name could be. I mean, his name might be Brian. No, wait, Brian's my other friend, the one with the PS4. Yeah, if I'm being totally honest, there's no way I can tell you his name. Not a chance. Noting that the boy had, quote, an absolutely huge HDTV and a bunch of games his mom won't let him play, Cutler confirmed that he could recall only the faintest details about his friend, including the fact that his mother makes chocolate chip cookies and that he has a dog of some kind. He's got Killer Instinct, Assassin's Creed, Battlefield 4, and Titanfall? Man, that game's awesome. Anyway, I've just been calling him Flamethrower because that's his gamer tag. Hopefully he doesn't catch on. Hey, can I stick around for a few more hours? So close to beating this. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. You can give us a call at 855 450 3733. Phone lines are open for you, 855-450-FREE. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. That's right. Also, you can call us on Skype, username lrn.fm. You just send us a contact request, and we'll approve it, and you'll be able to call just that quick. As a matter of fact, let's go to Freedom Williams on Skype right now. Freedom, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Mark. It's uh, Dave from Las Vegas. Hey, hey. How's it going, Dave? I don't, I don't know why that's the Skype name. I think I just, when I first created Skype, that was the name I had on there. But anyway, I wanted to uh, touch on not just, I, I guess, the uh, Eric Garner story, but the bigger picture here uh, and what's, I guess, my take about what's so, been going on in Ferguson. Because real quick, uh, Eric Garner, a guy in New York City who was, uh, you know, stopped by the police for selling loose cigarettes, untaxed loose cigarettes. Uh, he didn't want to comply. They uh, took him down in what apparently is a, a chokehold that's against the rules, um, or at least that's how it's perceived by some. The grand jury today decided that uh, the police did nothing, nothing, really. They had a whole bunch of charges they could have charged this, these guy, this guy with. Nothing wrong um, to be able to charge him for. So a man dies over tax evasion on cigarettes and no charges. Well, first of all, even to that point, I mean, a grand jury is is just for show anyway, is what it really is. Uh, there, there's so many, I don't know if people realize how often things like this happen. I, I, there, there's a, uh, on Facebook, there's, there's a page killed by police. And what they do is, and they started, I think, sometime in 2013, anytime someone's killed by police, and it doesn't matter the circumstances, they'll post an article there. So I started going through it and and finding, you know, going through the details. Right, and, and, I, and I before a, you go on, it's sorry, really sorry. difficult to find information about police killings in the United States. For whatever reason, th th this information really isn't collected. No, even the FBI made a statement that, you know, no one's asked us to do this, which is pretty ridiculous. But um, it, it's dear it, FBI yeah, so, agents, please start telling us the information on police killings in the United States. Well, even even the FBI, there was there was some statistic in 20 years to 150 people shot by police, uh, 80 of them. It, it was either 80 were killed and 70 were shot or vice versa. And they were never found at fault. So, yeah, uh, you know, uh, I think like the, the FBI is going to do anything. There are cities where cops have never been found at fault in the United States. Yeah, I, I my understanding is that there's uh, there's about 400 people a year are, are killed by police in the United States. And that is just uh, justified use of force on duty shootings. That's my understanding. So that's that's the number that they keep. That's not an accurate number because even uh, the kill by police site, which will actually uh, post, you know, every article they find. So daily, you know, they're posting articles. They they have the, a number of a thousand so far for 2014. And again, I'm sure they could miss things. I don't know what their process is and how they go out and research and find. You know, in the in the U.S., every yeah. police. I don't doubt for a second that that uh, the, the, the whatever number they're going to give I you is low. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't surprise me in the slightest that like a a Facebook page without much of a budget has better researching skills than the than the Justice Department. Well, either. It's they don't care. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's not something that they want to come out. But I had went through, you know, there's so many, so I only I, I only could go through so many. But I went through, you know, some of the specific details, and 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 I actually did, you know, a show about it where I, I there were like 40, you know, I only got that far, 
And I found 40, and this was just up to August, that I felt were unjustified. And, and you know, that's only going through a small amount of them. So the, the whole thing with Ferguson and Michael Brown, I mean, this is not a unique thing. This happens all the time. Yes, there are some shootings where uh, the police are shot at. And, and I don't, first of all, I don't think police should be shooting at anybody in general if they're not shot at first. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Detroit Threat Management Center. Uh, Pete Ayer went down there and did some stuff for Cop Lock, and you can find it on YouTube where, you know, they're a, uh, a security agency in Detroit. They focus on de-escalation of violence. They focus on people's safety and actually caring about the people and putting their lives first. And they won't even fire somebody in, unless they're shot at, not just somebody, you know, uh, reaches for something. That's you know, that's not a pretty good gone. rule. Um, I've kind of been stuck on how exactly uh, I would, would deal with these situations, but I think that's a pretty good rule. You shouldn't be pulling out a gun especially when you've got pepper spray and or tasers um, and shooting at somebody unless you have been shot at. Okay. Well, what about the fact that they're trained officers as well? Now, this is not, you know, maybe if it's, if it's a situation with a normal person, I, I look at that differently than, you know, essentially government agents that are trained and that have the power of the government behind them doing this stuff. Um, so, they, you know, they should be held to a higher standard. Unfortunately, it's totally the opposite. But how I look at things in Ferguson, when you have all of these things happening, and, and a lot of them are so much more, you know, when you look at the facts, they're so much more clear, where you can you can see. I mean, there, there are uh, ones on video. They, there was a, a girl that I had on my show, her, her brother, uh, Ernesto Duenas, was, I believe it was 2011 in California. There's a video where you see the cop. The cop is 15 feet away, pulls up, fires, you know, 15 shots or something like that. I think maybe hit him 11 times. And it's clear that that cop was suspended for three days and that's it. So my, my point being is that they focused on this, they being, you know, government, government media for a reason, because it's an easy uh, thing to use to divide people and to make it all about race and forget about yeah. the real issue, which is the police. And the police are killing people of all races, all genders, ages. Now, I, I think that black people are definitely targeted more, but at the same time, you know, if all the police in Ferguson were black, you're still probably going to have the same issues. It's not a training or a, a different race of cops. It's the issue of the police and the power that they have. I mean, most of this stuff is legal for them to do anyway. It's yeah. not even an issue of, you know, is this illegal? Um, and, and, and the whole grand jury thing is just, in my opinion, a sham anyway. Well, the, yeah. The other thing is that if, if anybody else had killed Eric Garner by, uh, you know, compressing his neck— uh, there's no question you've got a guy who's dead, as a, as the, the coroner put it, as a result of homicide from compressions to the neck. You've got the guy who compressed his neck, and that's not even worthy of an indictment. Come on. Any other person who is who is brought up on those charges would certainly have been at least indicted, probably convicted and executed. Where you never see cops, you know, at least not for things like that. Cops will get arrested for some other uh, thing. Usually, usually sexual sex issues is what it seems to be the police get uh, arrested on most of the time. Um, I, I consider police to be the agents of force that we all have. They, they have no more rights than any one of us individually. Somebody breaks into my house, I can use, I can hold them down, uh, you know, use neck compression or whatever to hold them until the police come and take them into custody. And a police officer could do that, too, um, until they're taken into custody. But if I tried to hold somebody that I suspected of selling loose cigarettes without paying taxes on them, you better believe that I'm going to get indicted and I kill them. You better believe I'm going to get indicted by the grand jury. Exactly. So well, just the fact that police can uh, break into your house uh, in the middle of the night and you can't you can't defend yourself against them. So uh, obviously the police have rights that uh normal people don't have and and they're trying to focus on well you know oh we, we want to federalize the police now is what they're talking about they're having meetings at the white house and th no one's looking at the real issue which is the police themselves and the power that they have i mean personally i don't think there should be government police and no one really brings that up it's let's focus on the training or let's do this or well, that but until no 1850 really power aspect neither Sorry. until 1850 the, 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 it, there weren't any police police forces are relatively new on the scene the constitution was written in a world where there were no police there was a sheriff who held the keys to the county jail but largely, you brought somebody in, you charged them, and those charges were held up in a criminal court, 
and you we they, you know that went one way or the other and the punishment was meted out that way so it's all very uh things have changed and it's probably not going back sadly dave just thanks one, for the call what, what's that oh sorry well just one uh quick point that that i that i wanted to make though uh again it, you, all, all of these uh to, to what i was saying like all the ones that i went through and found and that are that are easily you know where people could agree on th this is somebody who was uh murdered by the police you don't hear about any of those but you hear about you know what's going on in Ferguson because again it, it was one where it could easily divide people where you could easily use it to focus on other things you know bringing in more government federalization stuff like that and not focus on the issue being the police and in the police you know having the power that they have thanks for the call Dave appreciate it 855 450 free that's 855-450-3733 what do you think is Ferguson about race because a lot of people think so 855 855- 453733 Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10,000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. 
Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's antiwar.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live. 855 free That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind. It's uh, been one of those evenings. Ferguson, um, now uh, in New York City with this Eric Garner situation where a uh, grand jury returned no indictment. What do they call it? No bill? Um, it's what they... Uh, they declined to indict the guys. Yeah. How it read in the in USA Today article, and I, you know, it's kind of surprising. A lot of people were surprised about that uh, ruling. I was a little surprised too. Eight fifty five four fifty free. You can get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. Not just any coffee, shade grown, one hundred percent organic, and top one percent grade Arabica beans. Delicious coffee, among the cof- best coffee you've ever tasted in your life. And you can get a free pound. All you have to do is pay for the shipping. You sign up for the subscription program. You can cancel that at any time. And what is different, though, about BuzzBox Coffee is is that we are able to get back some of the profits that we're able to then give away through Kiva.org. They have a component where they they do charity, and I think it's a great uh, system. So I just gave out uh, three microloans today to... People in different countries. I'm actually trying to do all the countries of the world at this point, so we've uh, loaned to a whole bunch of countries. But I, um, I'm just filling in the ones we haven't uh, had. So like Azerbaijan, Afghanistan, and uh, I don't know Albania. Uh, we're <laughs> today's. <laughs> I'm hoping that we can cover every uh, you know somebody in every country in the world. It's great. Coffee.freetalklive.com to well upgrade your coffee experience. Never have to worry about buying coffee again. I guess you'll have to tweak your your order at, at some times, but you don't have to go to the gro- grocery store for it. You'll get better coffee, and you'll be able to help people in the process. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Dave in New Hampshire. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. I wanted to update you a little bit about the uh, Ed and Elaine Brown situation. Well, this is an old story. Well, um, my thinking is that when an injustice happens, it's important not to forget about it. It yep. seems like the, the liberty— you, the Well, liberty uh, update us on it real quick. I mean, you gotta, you got to uh, bring, bring us up to speed on it, Elaine, because people are listening and they can't well, remember who that is. As many of you may recall, uh, back around 2007, uh, these folks were in a standoff with authorities at Plainfield, New Hampshire, over a refusal to pay income taxes, and uh, they were eventually— Captured, uh, taken down, and sentenced to thirty, you know, like thirty-five years each in prison, even though they're already sixty-seven, roughly years old. Yeah, so life sentences, effectively. Correct, and um, you know, uh, it seems like there's always there was a sort of a flash in the pan movement to defend them when this when this all started. But as soon as the authorities sort of moved in, everyone just kind of moved on. You know, it's just like they forget about. It, the, the liberty movement has too many flash in the pan movements. There's not enough distance running going on. Yeah. I think the Free Stater project itself is an exception to that. But anyway, um, the uh, I, I think I saw in your show prep actually, but I haven't I have, haven't been able to find it on any of your shows that apparently the, their house, the, the authorities are still trying to sell their house yep. after what seven years. Right. Uh, and they couldn't. And apparently, no one showed up for the auction. <laughs> wow! And some of the claims is is that there's like landmines uh, around the property potentially, and um, that that's going to disincentivize you from buying that property. <laughs> yes, it's like it's 
it's like Ed's revenge, right? I mean, I doubt he had the competence to put together a landmine, but um, the authorities made such a big show of making him sound more dangerous than he was. Right. Uh, that now it's coming back to bite them. I think it would be great to be like the only guy at that auction. Well, probably get a great deal on a house. Yeah, I don't know where they start it though. I mean, it's not like you're going to get it for a dollar, right? right? Like, Is that possible? Start the bidding at a penny. They started it, they started it at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which of course is a song, considering how nice the place is, or at least used to be. Well, you've been in it. Uh, I went there for. I was outside um, when they had this barbecue, and there was all kinds of people there. And this was during the siege, I guess. There were no cops or anything like that, and we just drove in and parked and. Had some bratwurst and you know <laughs> I was hung out for a little while. Got to got to see some folks from the Genesis Communications Network, our syndicate, and talk to some people we knew that were free staters. And you know, then we went home. Yeah, there's another de- development. Uh, you know, not super hard news, but uh, I guess a couple couple three weeks ago it must have been um, one of their jailed supporters uh, got out of jail. Um, Reno Gonzalez. Oh, did he? Been in jail. He had an eight-year sentence. Well, I guess I it's been that long, was. has it? Yeah, I don't know what he was. Well, it hasn't been. I don't know if he was in for the full eight, but um, I'm not even sure what he was accused of doing other than just helping them, you know? Yeah, just sort of being too verbal in his help, I guess. <laughs> well, supposedly the convictions had to do with delivering some, I'm sure it had to do with delivering some sort of material assistance. And they, they tried to, to, to target the people that they thought were the most uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure what the, the biggest right supporters. Were. They just wanted to, you know, let you know that hey, you support this next group of nuts that comes along, then uh, yeah. we're gonna get you. If you're bringing people to, you know, food or you know, ammunition or you know, any number of different things that are helping them, because yeah. Ed uh, Brown a definitely siege, they're going to treat you badly. Ed, Ed Brown didn't have any problem talking about, uh, you know, just fighting the fighting the law with uh, with guns and that sort of thing. Yeah, he was a, a trash talker to some extent. Uh, but you're not supposed to be able to be put in jail for 35 years for that. Nope. And, uh, you know, I always think about, you know, because again, people have all kinds of criticisms of Ed Brown and, and a lot fewer for his wife. Um, but the thing is, he never betrayed anybody. He never hurt anybody during the standoff. Uh, and he should get a medal for not paying federal income taxes. Everybody should. It's an act of of uh, craven subservience to do it, and it's an act of decent defiance to, to not pay. You know, that, money fund, that money funds torture. When you send them money, you're sending money to people to torture people. Well, it's hard to disagree with that. And I and I do not like paying for that myself. And and death and destruction via remote control airplanes and whatever else they do. Dave, I appreciate the call. You can give us a call at 855-450-3733. Got a Barry calling in from Charleston, West Virginia. Barry, you're on Free Free Talk Live. Uh, how are you fellows doing today? Hanging well. in there, Barry. Oh, good. Um, about the uh, case in New York, uh, the cops. I just want to deal with the fact that I've heard the uh, gentleman was breaking the law. The cops approach him. Uh, from what I heard on the radio, the guy uh, was saying that, "Why are you?" targeting me out and all this. Uh, I'm tired of being harassed. Then the cops wanted to arrest him, and he refused to be arrested. Is that correct? Yep. Okay, then the cops, uh, I believe there were two of them or just one? Two. Two. The cops uh, proceeded to try to arrest the man, uh, applied a chokehold, and the man died right then and there, correct? Well, I think that it... Had he to- was pronounced dead at the hospital, and there was uh, part of the problem was on the video, they saw the police officers not tending to this guy as he laid on the ground. There was a little bit went into it, but... Okay, did the, was the guy breathing when well, the... Well, hold on. Uh, Barry, hold, hold, on, hold on a second, if you would. Um, 855-450-3733. Your thoughts are welcome. Free Talk Live. 
Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Caitlin Taggart was a beautiful, lively girl who loved laughing and playing outside, but all that changed at the age of 12. Caitlin slipped into a persistent vegetative state, confining her almost entirely to her bed and Facebook. She doesn't even have basic motor functions anymore. We literally have to drag her to the car to drive her to school in the morning. She's totally unresponsive when we talk to her. Her eyes just roll back in her head. Caitlin, honey, it's your dad. With no hope that their daughter would ever recover, the Taggarts decided to seek legal permission to end Caitlin's life. It is the most difficult decision we've ever had to make, but we just keep reminding ourselves that the real Caitlin is already gone. That's just her body texting. We give her one painless injection and that's it. Her eyes may flutter a bit or she may murmur, are you for real killing me right now? This is the Onion News Network. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want, but tonight it's been about these situations. I, I, I hesitate to call them racial because I don't really think that race is the biggest component in these uh, situations where unarmed people have been killed. I think that it has to do with um, 
It has to do with the way that uh, police in this country are sort of given a pass when it comes to dealing with their employers. That's what we all are. Our cit- we, the citizens, are supposed to be the employers. And, uh, you know, in this case with Eric Garner in New York City, we've got video of what happened. And it looked for all the world like, you know, an illegal or uh, I shouldn't use the term illegal. The New York C- City Police Department has rules against chokeholds. Yeah. And something akin to a chokehold was used. Yeah, exactly. And no charges have been put in you place. Know, the, the coroner ruled it uh, death by a homicide from compressions to the neck, and that's exactly what happened. Now, homicide just means a person was killed. Right. Um, well, one person was killed by another person. Yeah, that's what homicide means. So um, it was a homicide. There's no doubt about it. It was the manner of death. <laughs> right. So uh, Bitcoin is on the rise, and to prove it to you, you can head to the second Texas Bitcoin conference. This is the second annual at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin, March the 28th and 29th of 2015. I'm giving you plenty of warning. We're going to be there. It's going to be loaded with the best and brightest speakers and latest exhibitions on Bitcoin, as well as hosting the second million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. This thing was amazing uh, last year. They gave, they awarded all this money to a bunch of companies, and um, I'm really hoping that uh, we really see some great stuff out of them. They've uh, invited the entire Texas legislature to allow them to see firsthand that uh, not enacting complicated regulations encourages innovation and job creation. The Texas Bitcoin Conference is going to prove that Bitcoin is a force for good. If you're knee-deep in Bitcoin or just interested, this is the place to be on March 28th and 29th, along with the kickoff event on 27th. Right now, they're even doing a white paper call. So if you're uh, if you've got an idea that might make the community grow, get a hold of them. Free Talk Live was there last year, and it was phenomenal. And we're excited to be part of it again in 2015. Head over to TexasBitcoinConference.com. Get tickets and details about all the ways that you can be part of the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference. You don't want to miss it. $25 off if you use coupon code FREETALKLIVE, and I believe FTL works too. So $25 bucks off your $150 ticket brings it down to $125. It's a great event. TexasBitcoinConference.com, coupon code FTL or FREETALKLIVE. Let's go back to Barry calling in from Charleston. Barry's trying to get wrap his head around all the uh, uh, the situation there in New York City, and I think he's got uh, some direction he's going. So, Barry, uh, we're back at it. Uh, do you want to surmise what uh, we've talked about thus far? Or, sure. or you want me to recap it? Yeah. Um, sure. No problem at all. So you're asking questions, uh, trying to find out exactly what Eric Garner did in the circumstance uh, when dealing with the police. And from best I can tell, he was selling Lucy cigarettes. Uh, the police are like, you're selling Lucy cigarettes. And he's like, leave me alone. I'm not a bad guy. Whatever. And uh, they're like, you're coming with us, lawbreaker. And he says, "Yeah, can't take me, copper." And uh, <laughs> and and so they grab him and they wrestle him to the ground. Right. Okay. And and in the process of doing that, they put uh, they put hands on his neck, and the guy uh, screams several times, "I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe!" It's all on video. The guy ends up dead, and uh, the officer uh, was brought before a grand jury, but they declined to indict the the officer For who anything. did, in fact, kill it wasn't this murder, man. but like anything like what was yeah, the lowest charge? Reckless endangerment. Reckless endangerment was the lowest charge they could have chosen. They chose not to do that either. Yeah, nothing at all. Okay, the facts are that the police had every authority to arrest the gentleman because he broke the law. Uh, I know it's minor, but they have the authority, correct? Well, I suppose if you consider that uh, uh, authority, I mean, I really don't. I, I think that uh, you know the, the New York City killed this man. Another, that's, that's for another debate, okay? L- let's keep it simple. Okay, we'll keep now, it simple. With the rule of law. Uh, but I, I'd like to p- point out that police officers and politicians, they don't have to follow the same laws that we do. I understand that, okay. and that's another argument. Yep. But, okay, now, uh, the gentleman refused, correct? Yeah, that yeah. That was his mistake. So now the police officer has to uh, get the situation under control and arrest the man uh, because he broke the law. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just agree with you in mu- in as much as nobody should be surprised by this, right? I mean, you have a situation where you pass some taxes, you pass some laws, and then you know you hire a bunch of guys with guns who are gonna go out and enforce the edicts of the politicians, right? Sooner or later, there's gonna be a dead guy, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just exactly what we should expect. I don't think that uh, I don't think that Eric Garner did anything wrong, though. I think he was going out and selling cigarettes. People wanted cigarettes, he was selling them, and then you know these guys came to stop him because some politicians told him not to. Who's to blame, Barry? Again, again, right. Again, that's a different argument. But who's to blame, the Barry? Is, what the point is, uh, did the police officers follow protocol? I don't know. Procedure? I mean, look, when you like the answer, the answer to the question is no, because right, they're not they, supposed to be choking people, right? right? But it's a situation that look, if you, if you're if you're going to create a situation where you're going to send out armed men to enforce the edicts of politicians, look, they're gonna they're gonna use violence against people. So let's just not be surprised by it. I cannot make, I cannot make my point if you're talking over me. Okay, to make a point. Okay, the point is if they followed standard of procedures then they are covered. Just From like what we understand, they did not. But, but, but you're not letting me speak. Well, if you're you're follow- making a point based on fallacious information from what I can understand. No, from what we understand... No, All right. Go ahead. Make your point. No, I'll just I'm, pretend like the facts don't exist. Then it's a lost cause. If you're... If you are interrupting and if you're trying to tell the people, like, every time you do, well, we shouldn't have government because of this. I don't care about that. I'm saying that the police officers, if they follow standards of procedures, then they are covered. If not, then they should be liable for this man's death. It's our understanding. It's our understanding that they did not follow procedures and that the grand jury did not indict anyway. And it's probably because America loves themselves some cops. Well, I'm a former police officer. Okay. Okay. So Are you allowed to use chokeholds? I was trying to use chokeholds, yes. Okay, so as we understand, the New York uh, Police Department has disallowed the use of chokeholds. Then he went outside the law, and he should be responsible for that man's death. But he's, but he's not going to be held responsible because that's kind of how this to tends agreement. to go. Thank you so much, Barry. And, and please, call in in the future when you hear us talking about police and you feel like we're being unfair because I really do no, like no, it. No, no, no. You're not being unfair. Thanks. Appreciate the call. 855-450-FREE. Let's go to, well, let's go to James. James calling in from Arizona. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Cece. I, for one, I hope that you're the only one at an auction for a home in New Hampshire and that you find what the tax man wouldn't be looking for. Um, uh, but uh, I think he's hoping that you get blown up by a landmine. Oh, okay. That sounds like a, a, a plan, yeah. It was a little obscure. Yeah, the world would instantly be a better place. It would. But speaking of Ferguson, Minister, of course it was about race hustlers coming from out of town, like Reverend Al Charlton, who lives for such— Did he go? Uh, I thought he stayed in New York City. What are you talking about? He's the one that made gen- ginned up this whole issue to begin with. Uh, the whole story of Ferguson. Yeah, I, I believe Rev Al that, was down there. He came back for the for the Eric Gardner thing. Yeah, I think I, I did, do more believe time he was down there. Gardner I'm won. not talking about New York. I'm talking about Ferguson. You I know. Most the question is about race. Of course, it's about race because if the kid that did attack the cop and got shot because he tried to grab the cop's gun and he paid for it with his life, if his name had been Mike White because his skin was white. It would have never made any bigger paper than the St. Louis Dispatch. Yeah, that's Instead, probably true. Have, it's not only probably true, it is true. Well, look, there you go. That's I'm, a fact. There you go. If that's you a fact. It would have been a national, uh, there would have been riots of a bunch of white people taking out white uh, black-owned businesses in Ferguson if a white kid had gotten killed by a cop because he attacked a cop. After- probably not. Appreciate the call. 855-450-3733. <laughs> Or LRN.FM on Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. 
Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA 4-herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain. Normally $26.95, now just $20. Herbalhealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit Herbalhealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. Herbalhealer.com, healing the world with nature. One person at a time since 1988. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Sorry about that. I'd call it a technical difficulty if it wasn't just me messing up. <laughs> 855-450-FREE. 
855 450 free. It is the Christmas season, and I want to ask you a favor. You're going to do some online shopping this year, likely. When you do your online shopping, can you do it through shop.freetalklive.com? If you're going through Amazon or Walmart, we've got links there. And if you do the shopping through those links, and we have a few other links too, if you go check it out at shop.freetalklive.com, you're you get the same price as the same service you normally get. We just get a little referral bonus, and it really helps pay the bills around here. Uh, lots of people do it, and we really wish you would too. It's shop.freetalklive.com. By the way, this month is the big one for us. People do more shopping, and we get a much bigger check. So we, uh, you know, the more the better. Please do. Shop.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Martin calling in from Texarkana. Martin, you're on Free Talk Live. Um, this has really interested me. Um, this, one, uh, this whole issue uh, has really interested me because in a lot of statistics, but it. Which issue are we talking about? Well, the, the the statistics on, um, uh, for instance, uh, police uh, homicides, uh, that it's greatly underreported, that the reported facts, they say it's about 400 a year, but that's only justifiable. And, of course, a lot, not all of the, not all of the, um, uh, not all of the homicides are reported by the, that's only voluntary reporting. Uh, there right. is a, there, there, there's a Facebook page, and apparently... Uh, I just read an article here a few days ago where they did investigate all of the uh, citations of um, this Facebook page has been, you know, taking up police homicides. This started in 2012, and right now in 2014, they went uh, and this uh, writer investigated all of the allegations in the Facebook page, found them all to be. Um, um, uh, uh, credible, um, credible reporting, and that right now we stand uh, uh, at 900, uh, approaching a thousand for this year police homicides. Yeah, I feel really underserved by um, government bureaucracies that claim to give us statistics of uh, police killings in the United States and then underreport them by. You know, I mean, it's it's more than a hundred percent higher than what they're they're telling us the right. average is. I mean, Killing a thousand a year now. That's just that's just that's what the statistics are now. The other interesting thing is, is that um, uh, you know Masoud by you, I'm sure you're familiar with because he's from New Hampshire. Uh, really great Second no. Amendment guy, and uh, he um, just the foremost uh, authority on the Second Amendment. Um, and and he he put an interesting statistic was as he said that there's uh, I, I heard him on a radio show. Um, a, f- a few months ago, but he was saying there's like 1.5 million Americans who have permits, who are permitted conceal carry in the United States. And there is only, out of the 1.5 million, only 400 of them this last year committed some sort of a crime that it was associated with their, and it didn't kill anybody, but I'm just talking about had some sort of related crime related to their concealed per- carry permit. So that people far- people who have concealed carry permits tend to obey laws. I think is sort of oh, the absolutely the- four four hundred is almost is almost negligently is almost none. When right. you look at 1.4 million, yeah. four, and you wonder how many of those are just sort of silly violations like uh, their well, shirt rode up. But yeah, p- the, he he said police police um, police actually commit more crimes, law officers, and there's one million of them in the United States. There are 100,000 uh, police officers in the federal, under under federal, like Border Patrol, DEA, and FBI, and what have you, that have police powers. There's 100,000 federal officers. There's 900,000 state and local officers. And, uh, and let me tell you something, of them, only about 25 to 30 get killed a year in um, in shootouts. Most of them die of automobile accidents. Of yeah. automobile accidents. The, yeah. but, that's uh, true. You know, it and, doesn't it and, it and doesn't surprise me to hear. What's that? It said it doesn't surprise me to hear that police are committing more crimes than concealed carry permit holders well, because you know more. you're carrying a when, when you're when you're when you're, when you're a concealed when you are a concealed carrier when you have a, a carry permit 
and you carry a gun that, that generally tends to put an idea in your head of, I'm wielding a pretty awesome responsibility here, whereas law, being a law enforcement officer actually detaches one from any sense of responsibility. Well, you have the, uh, the, the qualified immunity as a law enforcement officer, which uh, right. has it. But I'd also like to point out that law enforcement officers are put into situations, like a call comes over the radio, and you go into a situation where you're much more likely to have to use violence or... Uh, you know, be tempted to use part, violence. Part of the job description. Well, it's part of the job description. Well, let, me, let me let me let me let me tell you something that that will dis, dispose of that. Okay. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, the UPS drivers, Federal Express drivers, and um, uh, and, post office? and U.S. Postal. Yep. Uh, who deliverers are constantly going in and delivering packages and run into dogs all the time sure. and there's not one report of any of those drivers killing or a dog. anybody killing a dog right, right. and i want to tell you something this is one thing that's not being tracked is i cops I would killing have dogs to guesstimate, <laughs> i would have to guesstimate there's probably several thousand dogs are executed by police a year yeah i wouldn't doubt that at all um and, and i you know i don't there's probably cowards. some where you're legitimately dealing with a violent uh, you know a dangerous looking dog and that kind of thing but there's you know there's you this know, the impunity UPS from and the, prosecution. the ups drivers deal with that every day because sure. i know my cousin drives ups and and he's and 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 he he's a man which i think a lot of these policemen are uh, you know he's a, I, he's not a coward because there's there's men and women who drive police trucks there's you know drive UPS trucks and there's men and women that are police and and he's he's never had to kill a dog. Now, how would right. he? And he yeah. runs to the dogs yeah. all the time. Right. right. He'd have to strangle it. But uh, has he ever been bitten? No. Yeah. Never been bitten. Yeah. Then that's he's, I think the most telling part of this these is cops, these cops are cowards because they immediately pull the, the gun out and they and they just love i mean i've just seen them just the dog just come and just just you know coming around even wagging the tail and i saw on the youtube just the execution of a dog that was wagging its tail when it was coming up to a dog yeah I, i've I've, a, I've seen the same video and i i definitely think that there's a percentage and i tend to think it's more, the majority of the shots of uh, the shootings in these uh, dog situations where the police officer wants to see what a bullet will do to a living thing, yeah, and yeah. Oh, you're yeah. not going to. Most police which officers is, aren't going to get that opportunity. Because license, how many license carriers do this? They run into situations probably they have dogs, but they're not going to pull their gun out because they just they know they're not going to do this. It is it the, the, the statistics are overwhelming, and and Carlos Miller, well, who's who I who's who has photography uh, is not a crime. dot com. Photography is not a crime, and he has said. This problem is absolutely he is under it's the, an epidemic uh, under the conclusion this problem with police violence is 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 pandemic and it needs to be dealt with. It is completely out of control and uh, you know that's just that's the way it is. The, 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 the police are not your friends and they're probably going to kill you. Well, it's uh, it's certainly a jo their job to put people in jail. Um, my recommendation is to oh, talk to them as little the as way. possible, answer the door as little as possible in dealing with them. If you have uh, information for the police to help solve a crime, there's a time to talk to them. But uh, if they're coming to right. you, you probably don't have information. By the way, with Eric Garner, they could have issued him a citation. Apparently, my right. reading of it, he he had been he had been arrested on a number of occasions. But for most of the time, he, when he was selling loose cigarettes, they issued a citation. No, that would have been a good, good solution. Martin, thank you for the call. The Appreciate it. Um, let me go real quick. Let's get uh, John calling in from Charleston. John, you're on Free Talk Live. Moments. Hey, man. Uh, I've been attacked by a dog uh, a couple of times. And uh, if I didn't have pepper spray, man, there was a pack of dogs. And they would have ate me alive. There you go. Sometimes. You know, and I think pepper spray, most law enforcement officers have tasers, pepper spray, these kind of things. Somehow mailmen make, manage to make it. But thank you for the call. Uh, that's it. it uh, it's been Mark with you. And Cantwell. Check us out at freetalklive.com in the meantime. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. 
And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms